it'll kill you basically if you're like a diabetic. But, <laughs> that, that's, what, that's what they say on the... Well, if you go off the glycemic index, yeah. But the problem with the glycemic index is it relied upon something like you had to have 100 grams of carbs from that... To make it a fair test, you had to have 100 grams of carbs from that particular substance. Now, to have 100 grams of carbs to have the same glycemic index as, as, as the boiled carrots means you'd have to eat a carrot like the size of this room or something like that. <laughs> right. Because there's hardly any carbs in them. Yeah. Yeah. So, although, carbs. in theory, yes, if you're diabetic, you shouldn't have boiled carrots. They're not really dangerous because you're never going to eat that many of them. You, haven't, you have a portion like that much, don't you? Why shouldn't diabetics have boiled carrots? Because they've got a high sense. glycemic index. Yeah, but glycemic index is not an important thing. Okay, but then this is some glycemic index. Patrick Holford went one step further and created what we call the glycemic load. Did he invent the glycemic yes. load? We should Google this. Is this a true thing? He did. Yes. Yes. Let's look this oh, up. he wrote a book on it anyway. Okay. He at least wrote a book right. on it. So he made money on the glycemic load. Yeah. I know this because I know someone who was a diabetic got the book and thought it was the gospel, and like they were telling me about the glycemic load. So he. He created that, which is basically the glycemic index. I can't remember if it's divided or times by the amount of carbohydrates in it. Then <laughs> right. gives you an idea whether they have a low glycemic load, a medium glycemic load, or a high glycemic load. Right. So their argument would be that diabetics should eat stuff of a low glycemic load, which funnily enough, boiled, boiled carrots, even though they're high glycemic index, come under low glycemic load because you yes. don't eat that many of them or enough of them to get the same glycemic response. So yeah, that's why I just thought, isn't Patrick Holford a bit of a shyster? <laughs> I mean, I don't know any of his other of his work. That's the only work I've ever seen of his, and obviously it's a bit shystery because it's just it's made up. He basically made it up. Or I believe whoever just decided I'll make this up. Some of his information is correct. Some of it's not correct. I agree. Some what of is it's... not correct about? Um, I can't say. Specific... He's got some big books down there. Yeah, I can't say specifically. It's been a long time since I've read those books. It might have even been fifteen years. I can't and isn't say it ironic when you see a book that big with a name on it that big? You think he must be right. He's written a lot of books as well. Like if yeah. you look up the list, there's lo then they're still they still must be popular today because if you go into Waterstones or yeah. any place, you can still see his books there person. in health in health sections. Like, and, and I've not re I can't say I've read all these books to know what his opinions on no. all these things are. So I can't really say. Do you ever get the feeling that some of these people are just like nutrition authors who are out to make money on whatever they can, some and they're just very me. good at writing? Yes, I do. He's good at writing. <clears throat> Definitely, I can say that from, yeah. from reading his books. I have enjoyed them. It's been a long time since I. Um, since I've read them, though, and I don't know most of That's what the feeling saying. I get with a lot of these people. Once you kind of make a name for yourself, you can then, in theory, just sell any idea in any old book and make money off it. And he, he's an author. He's, he's more of an author than he is nutritionist. Is he even a nutritionist? Well, well, this is what I was just going to say. I never I never do hear him quoted yeah. by I've anybody top level, yeah, yeah. yeah, ever really. So is so. he real? Is he a real... That's a Wait, good we, question. <laughs> Does Patrick Holford really exist or is he a mushroom? <laughs> <laughs> is, is it a pseudonym? He's like Shakespeare. It's a conglomerate group of people out to make money through nutritional misinformation. What, Shakespeare wasn't real? It's a look... There's, there's rumours of Shakespeare's illegitimacy, isn't there? You love this stuff, don't Have you never heard, have you never heard no, this? No, I've never heard of it. I bet you're sort of the moon this? landings are true either, do you? No, the moon landing... I definitely believe in the moon landing. Why do you believe in the moon landing and not Shakespeare then? I'm not saying I, I do. Mean, or... moon... <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm not saying I do or don't believe in Shakespeare. I'm just saying there's. Um... So you believe there's a theory? Or you believe that there, no, there, is, a that there is a theory no, there that is. Shakespeare never existed? Yeah. He's just out there to sell books and sell movies. <laughs> Man, he's not selling movies at the time. What's he selling? Well, I mean, he's made his movies, which would have sold, been sold the rights. Yeah, by but people. he didn't plan that when he was doing it. <laughs> he's not thinking, oh, in 2011, oh, I'm going to so be. This I'm isn't just an idea. This dog. Is... This is an idea that he, he he was invented back then to sell books. What's the theory? I'm Googling it right now. Okay. Tell me the theory. I'm, I'm Googling it right now. Shakespeare definitely Biography.com, I've got an article. Was Shakespeare the real author of his own plays? Oh, so he might have existed, but he didn't maybe write them. Some scholars and even fellow writers are skeptical that Shakespeare wrote any of his celebrators' sonnets or plays and that Shakespeare was actually a pseudonym used to disguise the true identity of the real author. I don't know. I'm not a flipping Shakespeare historian. I don't even know how. Did you people two, three hundred years ago together? even think to become a pseudonym? Why would he want to be a pseudonym? Why would he not want his? I've stuff heard that some people think it might have been a lady, and it wasn't appropriate at the time. Okay. These yeah. are just theories, though. People yeah. have a lot of theories. Some people. This think is what happens when people have too much time on their hands yes. in the modern era, and people they look think at things. a lot of things. Yeah, people look at it in the modern era and look by old time standards. It's just no. TheVintage.com. Did a man named William Shakespeare actually exist? 
<laughs> maybe, maybe. Might There's be loads right. of articles, and I've just seen it before floating around. What? This these theories. It's all about the moon landings. Why they legit? Um, because of scientism. 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 Yeah. Scientism. Yeah. Do you know what that is? It's not even a real word, is it? It. Well, I don't know if it's classed as a real word, but it's a word not invented by. It sounds like you just made that up. It's. Um, I haven't made it up, but somebody has made it up. Definitely, it's a word to describe belief in science. Um, okay. Like I can't actually like some people believe in the moon landing and some people don't. Hmm. I can't actually check whether it's real or not. No. I I just have to choose who I believe. Mm-hmm. Do I believe the quote unquote conspiracy theorists who think it's not real, or, or do, you or do I believe the science yeah, people? Yeah, yeah. And I always go with the science people. Okay. You know, but you can understand where they're coming from. So when you ask me, why do I believe that? My only answer can be because overall, I've just got to pick somebody to trust and I just trust, I just choose the scientists more. Okay, fair enough, yeah. You know, I can't actually check whether anybody's been... I mean, I must admit, choosing the the scientists and the overwhelming scientific evidence over... That's what I try and do. Brad, the 40-year-old virgin living in his (laughs) mum's basement in Minnesota. (laughs) Oh my God. Who's got too much time in his hands to write a a, 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 a theory. is, is probably right, yeah. There's conspiracy theories about every single yeah, of course thing. Yeah. The, the best thing about conspiracies, though, is that some of them are real. Which so, ones do you think are most likely to be real, then? Some of, of the major ones. Some of, I don't know, but some of them have turned out to be real, haven't they? Which ones? Like the Iraq War. Huh? Like the Iraq War. Like there what were was no true we- about that? There was no weapons of mass destruction. Okay. You know, stuff like that. It was a conspiracy at the time. It turned out to be real. The, I mean, that's going down a really political kind of like. I know I don't want to talk about because they'll it. always say they know. never did it because of that. And, but also, oh, let's say let's say they didn't do it because of that. Why did they do it? Uh, oh, I don't know. Because millions of people, oh, lot, well, not millions, but a lot of people died. It I cost the U.S. economy billions of dollars. If yeah. you actually look at it on that basis, they gained nothing. They lost a lot. People died. So why do it? I don't know. I'm not into politics or maybe they or did genuinely think at the time economy, or believe to or... the best information they had at their hands and that I'm, I'm not saying i was pro iraq war or not by the way but did they really think they were there because they gained nothing they gained nothing people died a lot of people died i know it's a very unfortunate thing but anyway it's, it's, it's a political thing i don't like to talk about politics too much because i know just, i understand it just gets it, too far it was just an example i can give yeah, you okay a, what, what you have a, been proven to be true i can give you another example give me give me another big conspiracy that's been proven to be true um the one, I forget, I forget the name because again, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but at one point in the past, the American government signed forms to stage a plane crash, a fake plane crash in Cuba um, to try and provoke the Cuban missile crisis. And some general, this has got, this has got a real name. It's, but I just forget what it is. I'll okay. Try, I'll try and Google it. Um, so they and, staged the fake paying class. No, they didn't. They didn't do it. But it got all the way to the president, and uh-huh. everybody signed it yes. And then whoever was the president at the time signed it no, and they didn't do it. But they were going to. So why is that a conspiracy? Because at the time, at the time, it was a conspiracy. There's, th- there's been another one now, hasn't there? Now I'm talking about conspiracy theories. I'm talking about the real ones. I'm talking about the moon landings. I'm talking about 9-11. I'm okay, talking I- about the lizard people that apparently rule over us. Okay, wait, wait, yeah, wait. The then. real ones. Let, let's play the game a different way then. You say the conspiracy theory to me. I say real or no real. Just in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> just in your opinion. Just in my opinion. Just in your opinion. 9-11. What's the question? Was it... Oh my God, this is so political and awful. I already don't want to play this game. Was was it staged and deliberately set up? Can I have... I don't know as an answer because I don't want to answer that one. Okay. That one's awful. Fine, that's fine. You can can back out that one. I don't know. I've seen both sides of the theory. What sides of the theory have you seen that said it was staged? All of them. All of them? (laughs) Yeah, I've watched conspiracy theory documentaries where it lays out the information and it's like, oh, it's fake because there's no evidence of the plane going here and how did the beams melt and where's the evidence of this and how did this happen and that other thing. Okay, okay, okay. Have you seen the the one about apparently when the the tower is collapsing that the plumes of smoke show that mini detonations going Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, controlled demolition theory. Yeah, controlled demolition. I've heard all this. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. I've heard all this. Um, But but again, it's, it's, it's beliefism, isn't it? I don't actually know. Okay. I have no uh, idea. What about the... We've seen the one that involves Hillary Clinton and the international paedophile ring that's a cabal that like feeds off the blood of young children. Is it the Pizzagate? Something like that. Uh, no, 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 no. no. It's, that's part of it, but that's not the actual conspiracy theory. That the, Hillary Clinton and this elite group of liberals yes. are part of this child... Yes pornography ring or thank something. Thank you thank you for bringing this up even though it's the most disgusting and awful thing It's ever, awful. It's that's terrible. an example of a conspiracy theory that's real. All that stuff with Epstein's Island. 
Now everyone's in jail or dead. It all turned out to be true. It all turned out to be true. They were doing weird but no, things. I mean, the, the, Presidents the, were going there. Rich people the, doing the, weird the, things. The conspiracy theory goes further than that. Apparently, they're like drinking the blood of them and stuff. Oh, I don't know about any of that. But yeah. like, they are doing weird stuff with kids that they shouldn't be on a weird yeah, island. It turned out to be true. Yeah, true. Okay, okay. It turned out to be true. What about... But that only became a theory afterwards. No one had a theory before. No, they did. did For they? years and years oh, and years they? and years and years online, people saying, oh, all the, all the high-level people, they're all paedophiles. Some of them are. <laughs> Some of them are, and it's disgusting, and we should stop talking about it. Yeah, we should talk about it. It's yeah. inhuman, the worst thing ever in it, ima- it's, imaginable. It's, but. When I hear about something like that, I think, who sat there and thought about something so genuinely evil and thought it was a good idea? It's almost, it's almost <sighs> on the same level as like a Bond villain kind of like crazy, isn't it? It's just like, who thought, I'm going to create an island where you can go do this terrible thing, and I'm going to make money off it, and thought that you've got to be absolutely insane. Yeah, I don't even understand. You've got to be a proper can... psychopath to do that. Yeah, no, like no, no concern it, for human life. It doesn't even enter into my realm of possibility to even think yeah. those thoughts to even come up with that. So these people are not in the same headspace as me. No, so they I can't don't understand. Not. I've just googled it, by the way, and you know this. Um, Which one? It's called Operation Northwoods. This is just Wikipedia. Operation Northwoods was a proposed false flag operation against American uh, citizens that originated with the U.S. Department of Defense and Joint Chiefs of Staff in 1962. Do you know, I can believe that, because the CIA has done a lot of really crazy things, and I bet it was planned by the CIA to do it. And there was that one where they had, like, the Contras, which they flew over to America to train in their illegal base, to then go off and fight in one of the South American countries on their side. Then they took over, and they became just as bad as the original regime. Oh, my God. They've done loads of crazy little stuff like that, so it doesn't surprise me. I've just Googled another one because I can't remember the names of these things. I just remember the stories. Do you know about Bohemian Grove with Alex Jones? Bohemian what? Bohemian Grove. Bohemian Grove. Bohemian Grove. Grove. Oh, Grove, not Grove, sorry. I've heard that right. No, never Do you know about this? Never heard of it. Oh, my God. It's another conspiracy that turned out to be true. Go on. And it's amazing. Well, it's not amazing. It's it's weird. <laughs> it's about something terrible. It's a, I don't know. I don't really. There's not really much facts on it. But you know Alex Jones. You know this guy. Mm-mm. Oh my God! No, really. You, you know, never heard any of this. I don't know uh, Alex oh, Jones is or Bohemian. He's Grove. the most famous conspiracy theorist ever, basically. Right. Um, if you want to know about conspiracy theories, you can watch him rant for hours and hours and hours. He's one of the most hilarious and entertaining people you've ever seen in your okay. life. Okay, tell literally. me about Bohemian He's banned Grove. off all social media platforms. Is he? All. That's probably He has to it. only have his own website and you have to go there to watch his shit because it's all been removed because he just rants about all conspiracy theories and some of them are true and some of them are not true. Okay. You know, so it's... He actually uncovered a real life conspiracy on his own. Um... This is an article in the Washington Post, Bohemian Grove, where the rich and powerful go to misbehave. He was saying for years, all these rich people, they're having meetings, they worship fucking demons, and they're doing these weird rituals, and they're wearing white hoods, and they're, they're setting things on fire, and they're chanting, and it's all these billionaires, and they're all getting together, and the president's going, and everyone's going, dude, you are crazy. So it's, a, it's, it's almost a bit like the Epstein Island thing, it's very similar. It's an older version, this yeah. is like... Yeah. Sometime in the past, um, <clears throat> if you Google Bohemian Grove, this is in the Washington Post. I'm not going to read it, but he basically said all this and everyone was like, no, what are you talking about? You're crazy. And then he went there and filmed it and you can watch it on YouTube. He sneaks in with a camera and he films it and they, they've got, there's this thing called Malik the Owl God and it's who they worship and it's all these rich people. There's a giant effigy of an owl and someone's like doing chants and then they set it on fire. So, okay. This is so real. The, so the conspiracy theory was that these billionaires were worshipping these weird gods yep. in order to make them richer? Who knows? And more powerful. Who knows? Do you think there's any chance this dude might have staged it? Because that's absolutely ridiculous. Malik the Owl God. Malik the Owl God. Come on. Malik the, watch it on Come YouTube. On, no. you, you're going to just have to watch it on YouTube and no. then just let me know after. And how did he sneak in there? So these billionaires didn't think to have the world's tightest security. You can listen to him tell the story online. Honestly. I don't know if it's actually been proven. Because uh, he makes his... Right, he, why would he lie? To make money. To make money. Yeah. He makes lots of money, I guess. Yeah, he must I have bet done. he does, yeah. He must, on, he's he world does. famous. He does, yeah. He he's world famous. Done. So he's then he's got some actors famous. together, got a really ridiculous effigy of an owl to go pray to mm, it. He could have done. He de- it's definitely an option. That's... Would it's you say def- it's more likely to be true than the billionaires who didn't think about having world type security? No, I on choose their to believe. Occult? He says that he. He thinks, says, of course he does. <laughs> he says he thinks they let him in. Why? He, who knows? <laughs> You'll have to watch it. No, it's, it's called Bohemian Grove. It's hilarious. It turned out to be out real. Bohemian Grove. Sorry? I'll check it out, Bohemian God. But it's ridiculous. Oh my God. I'm calling. If it wasn't an owl, why oh would it be an owl, an owl god? Why are they called Malik? 
It's a good question. Why has he not got an obscure name? I'm not the I'm not the expert. Okay, he's I'm not a new, I'm a nutritionist, Leon, <laughs> not a conspiracy theorist. Hit me with a few more. I like this game. <laughs> uh, what other conspiracies are there? There's the moon landing one. Uh, uh, I believe the moon landing's real. Okay. What do you think? Yes or no? Uh, based on everything I've seen, which is virtually nothing, probably real. I think real. But isn't the theory that America wanted to appear like the good guys, so they lied about it or something like that? Is that that's a conspiracy theory, isn't it? I believe it is, isn't it? That's the theory why they would do it, why they would go that far, because they wanted to appear like the good guys to the world or something like that. I thought it was to beat the Russians, like a rocky But then the thing. Russians never won either. No. No one's been, apparently. Back ever again. Yeah, I think no, they've been no, a couple of times, haven't they? Yeah, no, no, well, apparently no one's ever, ever been. I don't know how many times people have yeah. been. I think they've only been about a handful of times, mm. in if they actually were. What do you mean no one's ever been? Like Lance Armstrong, the obviously stepped so? in the moon. Yeah, 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 apparently so, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, uh, well, that's the theory. It was all just propaganda, really. It, when, what do you believe? Do you believe it was propaganda? Or do you I believe just, they actually went up there? I think the thing about that is because it was obviously filmed on like really, really old digital cameras and blah, blah, blah. And I think to stage something that big, it only takes one person to say to someone it was, wasn't real for it to get out and so forth. I think in all probability it is real because... By today's methods of investigation, you'd be able to tell that they would film it on some setting. Apparently, it was filmed in like the desert, wasn't it? And not actually on the moon. Some people say using trampolines. Some people say yeah. was Spielberg involved, some people say. Oh, God, really? Don't they? Don't yeah. they? According yeah. to Wikipedia, 12 people have been on the moon. 12? I think that's real because I don't think yeah, they've it 12 that. times. And it's not that far away. They've it 12 times? Yeah. They can definitely get up there because we've shot satellites and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's not far away. We can do you smart can see stuff it. these I days. I saw it this morning from my apartment. It was that close. I could that's see actually, it was massive. That's actually a good point. I like that yeah, point. Yeah, it's really, really close. It's not that far, you're right. Not that far. Well, I say not that far. And I'm we're pretty smart. Know. Soon it's going to be Mars, I believe in it. I've seen Elon Musk's rocket. Elon Musk wants to go there. He wants to die there, doesn't he? He wants to die there? Yeah, that's what he says. He wants to die on I've never Mars. Heard this. Yeah. He wants to be the first person to die on Mars. What? So yeah, because he can, because he's a billionaire. Can't do anything about global warming, but he can do that, can't he? How's he going to make sure every single person up there survives until he dies? What if there's an accident and he's, he's the second person to die Maybe on Mars? Maybe before you die, he would eject you off Mars. You'd have to inject so yourself you with get, something to... So you can't get there. So, but he, they're planning on going to Mars. I watched the Joe Rogan with the astronaut guy that's helping him develop the plan. And he said, scientifically, they're nearly there. There's just a couple of things they need to figure out like how to protect yourself against all the radiation because obviously it's not got much... Oh, yeah, just that. Just that. Yeah, just, yeah. Oh, yeah, just, just that. Just that, yeah. Just yeah, yeah. the way. What about fact, growing all the food and what if something yeah, goes yeah, wrong? And, hydrophonics. Yeah, what about all of it? Yeah, hydrophonics. Yeah. Have you not seen the What about the creating an entire new planet? Yeah, what about all have of it? It's really the, sorted. Have you watched The Martian? Yeah. It's really good. I've loved it, yeah. It's I think it's really good. Yeah, yeah I've watched it many And uh, that's how they're going to do it. They're going to do it like the Martian guy does it. He's going to like fertilise soil on... I Mars. hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Let's watch it on YouTube. <laughs> That'll be great, won't it? Watch it on live stream. But he could do so much more with his money. So much more? Well, you could help... Then, then start a new planet. What no, do you mean? Of course he could. Yeah, but he could help the oh, world he? before he doesn't do that. That's what he's doing. He's I know trying... he does help the world a lot. That's I know he's, he's actually one of the good guys because he's campaigning to get most of the billionaires to give up most of their money because they don't need it. No, but his idea of sending people to Mars is that he's doing the ultimate service to man where he's giving us a backup plan because he thinks eventually something's going to happen. It's going to either be a nuclear bomb or it's going to be shit weather or it's going to be a meteor. Or shit it's... weather. It's going to be every really bad weather for us all to go to Mars. Yeah, tsunamis and shit. You know, well, the world might end due tsunamis. to like some... <laughs> Climate change, you know, a meteor might come down. Fucking, I mean, it might hit Mars. It might, yeah. but if we, he wants us to have two pods rather, like two human bases rather than one, he wants the backup plan. He's making Plan B for all of us, not because he wants to. Is like, that actually what he thinks is? That's gonna his happen. real deal. Is it? That's his real deal. He's trying to protect oh, okay. all of us, yeah, by making a backup colony. Just because we only have one colony, what if this one gets fucked? Which it has done many times in the past, many times. Yeah, like twelve thousand nine hundred years ago. The, so not that long ago. Not that long ago, exactly my point. I mean, I'd be sarcastic. No, th no, that's not that long ago. Humans have been around for like 300,000. 12,900 is not that long. It's a long time compared to like Jesus. It's way before Jesus. Um, Humans have been around, what, 300,000? 300,000 minimum, yeah, maybe 350. Well, Homo sapiens Homo sapiens, us. Homo erectus before that, 2 million odd. Longer. Really? Yeah. How long ago? Yeah. No. Hell yeah. So how long ago with the dinosaurs? Though? Hell yeah, 65 million. Wow, you, you know a lot of this stuff. Ancient. I told you I love ancient history. I mean, that's really ancient. Really ancient, yeah. But then a meteor came and took them out too. They also got smacked by a meteor. Everyone died. Do you know what we were back then? 
uh, we'd be like amoebas, wouldn't we? No, we were like a, a little, little rodents. A little shrew type yeah, rodent thing, rodents, yeah. yeah. Well, we were. Every time we were. popped our head out of Velociraptor, was like, thank you. We saw you. a massive dinosaur and ran for it, yeah. Yeah, we just hid in a little hole. And then <laughs> everyone, everyone died. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, over a period of time, didn't it? And then we came out of it, monkeys. So why did we survive and dinosaurs didn't? Because we were living in holes. We must just have been little scavengers. So because of our little holes that we buried, those little mammals, we managed to survive that meteor. Seems like it. It must have done. Some life survived, obviously. Some plants and some fish. Most of the oceans weren't affected. That's why most of the oceans have still got dinosaurs now, like sharks and dolphins. If you go to like Natural History Museum and you look on the wall at the ancient dolphins from 65 million years ago, they're the same. Ancient dolphins. Yeah. Like they've got dinosaur dolphins and dinosaur sharks. And so why dinosaur- didn't the dinosaur in the sea survive? Because they were under the water, so somehow they just survived through it, didn't they? But why didn't they? But, but what about the actual like dinosaurs that lived in the water? The, you know that big one that's on the Jurassic Park: The Lost World, where it comes out of the water and it eats the shark. That big, no. big. Why didn't that survive? I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. But have you not watched Jurassic Park: The Lost World? I don't think so. You need to watch it. <laughs> Maybe I'd know more about, about dinosaurs. They have like they have I like is it a pelosaur? Is like a, a a dinosaur that lives under the water? Yeah. Why didn't or that survive? Pleosaur might be called. Yeah. Something yeah. Like that. Yeah, Why didn't that not survive then? Why was it only the dinosaurs that died in that meteor? It wasn't, obviously, because there's loads of life now. So some life survived. Trees, plants, obviously fish, obviously mammals and insects and okay. stuff like this. Obviously some life survived and then it started to replenish up. It's like the dinosaurs were taking so over. So that's Elon's plan? <clears throat> yeah, backup plan for backup us. Plan. Yeah. Just in case something goes wrong, like another meteor comes down, which it very well might do. And we can't deflect a meteor right now. Mm-hmm. Even NASA, NASA have got a fund online because there's no funding for meteor protection of the planet Earth. I mean, what else could they do about a meteor coming this way? Apparently, quite a bit. They're thinking Can't that yeah, they could. They're thinking they could fire a rocket at it, not to explode it, but to, to knock it off course, to nudge it very yeah. slightly so it never comes back. Yeah. Some people think you could fly a rocket past it and paint it on one side, um, like paint it? yeah, which would make it like absorb light and slowly start to spin, and that would take it off <laughs> accordingly. These are legit theories. These are le- this is not invented by me. Yeah, I, I'm not so sure about the paint one. I think you made know. that one up. I, no, I've not made it up. So there's some What's scientists it? sat there and thought, what we can do about meteor coming space? We could paint it. I'm going to Google it now just to make sure. That's not true. That's make... not possible. Honestly, it's true. Paint... What kind of paint would they use? I'm going to Google literally paint a meteor defense. <laughs> Let's see if it works. This do you know the my... really cool thing I like about like science fiction that Hell could possibly yeah. work? Have you ever heard of a space elevator? This is so real. I have this articles popping up from 2013. This is a fucking old ass theory. This is real. Okay. It says how to deflect a killer asteroids with spray paint. <laughs> it's a weird <laughs> idea. People are just saying you could. But theoretically, I don't know if anybody's ever tried it. <laughs> yeah. Have you heard of a space elevator? No. So to get into space, you don't have to go as high as you think. So in theory, you could have an elevator that would take you into space. And the only thing that apparently they're struggling with right now, the idea is how to have a strong enough tether from Earth. Because once an object's in free fall and it's going around the Earth, it'll just stay there, yeah? Yeah. So why could it not be attached to Earth via something and then you'd get an elevator up in space? It'd be a lot cheaper, a lot more efficient than using a rocket to blast the football. And then what, fire rockets off that top bit? Well, it means we'd have a permanent base in space that we'd be able to then... Yeah, because then you can fire a rocket off of that, which would be easier to send. What if we linked it to the moon? Sorry? What if we linked it to the moon? This is a new idea by me. This is a real one. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that The space elevator is a legit idea. Is it? Yeah. I've heard... I might have heard of that theory before. And I think the the eventual plan would be to create our own ring that would go round, that would constantly just be in free fall, constantly be in orbit around us. It'd be like a space station on the outside of There'd be loads of of them, and then it would look like a weird alien orb... Mm. Something like that, yeah. But there'd be an idea to have like one connected go around the world, like a, a ring, and an elevator just going up all the time. And then you could send a rocket off into space that would need a lot less fuel and go a lot further because obviously a lot of the fuel is just to get out of our thing. Uh, what's it called? Uh, gravity. That's one. Yeah, thing. yeah. It makes me nervous to think about. To be honest, it kind of gives me anxiety. Mm. Never know. I don't really like even cars. I just like walking. So <laughs> even cars are a bit fast <laughs> for me. To be honest, sometimes. Yeah. I don't know about space elevator. I'm thinking. It could happen. They're just they're, they're, again. They're just trying to figure out a few of the last things, like what material would you make the actual elevator out of strong enough to be up there? Because that would have to be really, really strong. They couldn't just do it with conventional steel. No, it'd have to be really, really high. Yeah, and birds would have to not land on it, and you'd have to not fly. Planes it'd have to be all it, kind of and you'd have to not get rusty. Maybe. 
it'd have to be a thick cable, some kind of like giant. It wouldn't even be a cable. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? But they have to build, think build kind of like a giant super building strong around kind of, it. Super strong, but super light fabric made of steel or something like that. That'd be the idea. Because you have to be. Something. I usually take the stairs. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm such you don't a like light... elevators that much. Not that much. Well, lift, I'll use say, one if it's lots of floors. But if I can, so, if I can walk it, I will. I'm such a land mammal. No. Honestly, it all gets a bit too much for me. No. I don't like riding bicycles. I don't like boats. I don't like airplanes. I just think, oof. It's all a bit much. You're a philistine, basically. What's a philistine? Like a really person who hates technology. I've never heard that. I mean, I could call you a troglodyte, but that's, that's really offensive. I think troglodyte means someone who lives in a cave, doesn't it? No, troglodyte, were, it's, it's, uh, it's a... What do they call it? It's a bit like... Um, like a minotaur, it's a species that doesn't really exist, but it's like it's referenced quite a lot. So a troglodyte with these like big horrible cave troll things that lived. Yeah. And you they pop in like Greek ancient history, I think, or something like that. Oh really, yeah. Yeah, so that's what a troglodyte is. I've got it on dictionary.com. Um it says a person who lived in a cave, a hermit. Um or... that, that's what it modern referred to, but the original word yeah, troglodyte yeah. comes from I think well Greek ancient history, I'm sure of it. It very well may be. Or a person who is regarded as being deliberately ignorant or old-fashioned. <laughs> yeah, sounds... you don't like you don't even like bicycles, bro. They've been around longer than cars. I no, I no, I appreciate bicycles and I like that they're real and that people ride them. I just don't want to be on it. Why? I'm scared. <laughs> it's too dangerous for me. <laughs> too dangerous. Yeah, it's too da- way too dangerous for me. No, honestly, it is. No, it's way too dangerous. It's not dangerous. I'm not, at all, it is. I, what about the little new electric ones that you see all the Chinese students riding? They're just braver than me. I used to be young and foolish too. I used to, <laughs> yeah, I used to be young and foolish too. I used to ride a BMX with no brakes on it, literally. My my bike, I added no brakes on it on purpose. I used to skateboard and jump off massive things and do flips off things. It's crazy. But now I'm just old and I just it all it's all become too much. Even even the thought of it is crazy. Um, I used to live with a guy. Shout out to this guy, Dougal Machin. What a such a nice guy. Love called what? Sorry? It's called Dougal Machin. Dougal Machin. It's called Dougal Llewellyn Machin. Okay. This is his real name. He's right. a real guy. What did he do? Um, he's an architect. Okay. Um, he's one of my good friends. He's a really nice guy. But he loved... He, when I used to live with him for a bit, he he used to, anyway, love cycling. I don't know whether he still does. And he was saying this to me. You should come cycling. You like fitness. We'll cycle. We'll go for miles. It'll be yeah. cool. We'll do this. I'm like, look, bro, it's too dangerous. He's like, no, no, no. You're coming. Try to convince me for ages. I was like, look, dude, it's too dangerous. One day, he got hit by a car. <laughs> He's like a brook. That's I was not like, funny. I was like, bro. That's not funny, bro. He could have died. It, I laughed a bit. Okay. <laughs> I laughed at least a bit. Okay. I was very sympathetic. He was very upset. I bet he was. Yeah. It was a stressful time. I, I cuddled him through this mentally and physically, but it's too fucking dangerous. I used to ride bikes all the time. Okay. Like 30 miles, 40 miles. Be like that, you're going to Mars. No, I don't want to go. I'm glad you don't want to go. I want to watch on YouTube. You want to stay here and die on this planet, I want to do yeah. a podcast. We'll do a podcast and watch it on a TV, live streamed. I'll just make comments. Do you think it's going to happen while we're still alive? Oh, I really hope so. I think so. I mind you, I suppose Elon's ten older years, than me. 10 years, 10 years, 10 years, I reckon. So he's got to, he, if he, he wants to go and he wants to die there, he's got to do it in the next 40, 50 years. And I hope I'm still around by then ish. Yeah. 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 Science is great. Maybe, maybe 40, 50 might be a push. No, you've got it. I believe in you. Be I have faith. 87. You just got blood tests. You're looking, you're looking at your health right now, <laughs> checking it out. You exercise how many times per week? Is it every day? No, no, I'm, I'm down to four days a week Oh, now. you're down to four days a week now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? Toned I just, I realised that <laughs> I am pretty happy with the way I look or the way I perform. I've got no more performance goals I want to hit in life. <laughs> Physically. Not, 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 because, not because I'm as strong as I used to be. I'm actually probably weaker now than I have been in the last 10 years, but... I'm strong enough. Listen, I agree. I don't I, need to be any stronger. There's no way you need to be any stronger. I don't need to be, I don't need, I've got no, nothing, one, no one can deny. I, I don't want to be any stronger. I don't need to be any stronger. I don't play rugby anymore. I don't do this anymore. Do you want to be more muscular? Anymore. Sorry? You want to be more muscular? I don't need more muscular, no. No, I don't, no, think I don't so. need to be more muscular. I don't need to do any of these sort of things. You're absolutely jacked already. It's ridiculous. I'm 36, <laughs> gone on 37 now. I'm not like old by a stretch of imagination, but if I can maintain this level of fitness and strength, Oh my All gosh. the way up to my 40s and 50s. You definitely can. I'm in a great place. Hell yeah, you can do that. And I'd actually rather do that in the middle of the night side possible now because I've got other things I want to do. Hell yeah, you can do that. So it's Zero just a case percent. of eat protein, lots of vegetables, weight train four times a week. Hell yeah. 
And yeah, I'll still... blood work done, checking it out. Yeah, check out work the blood work. I, 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 want, I want longevity now. And that's the reason why I started doing the blood work. Yeah. I want longevity. I want to Hell know yeah. if I can, anything I can change. Um, so yeah. Hell yeah. Do you know Dr. David Sinclair? Never heard of him. He's Harvard's leading um, life extension and... Like... Oh, is he a bit like, um, what's his face? The crazy guy online. Who? Ben Greenfield. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not is like... he legit? Is he the legit version of Ben Greenfield? He's a more legit group version of Ben Greenfield. What does he reckon humans can live to? Oh, I don't know. Because Ben Greenfield reckons, or he's been told by someone smarter than him, that the the human body could, in theory, make to 127 years old. Oh, I definitely believe that. Yeah. Easily. That's what he's aiming for, Ben Greenfield. Isn't the oldest person ever something like 120 something already? I don't know. Well, that's when we that's when we would like expire, like 127 years. Expire. That's when the human that's that's human's expiry date. Just start to smell like gone off milk. People are like, look, it's time. (laughs) Yeah. We just no one no one can deal with this. Yeah. Smell like cheese. That's when no one would want to eat us anymore. No. No one wants to eat us anyway. They would. No. Yeah, aliens might. They might. That's true. Have you heard meeting. the you, all right? So you like all these ideas and these theories. Have you heard the the basic premises that the only reason why aliens would come here is one to study us because we'd be so we'd be so like vastly in, inferior to them that they look as like amoebas in the pond. Wait, before we continue, oldest person ever, one hundred and twenty-two verified. Oh, Let's so they're continue. not far off already. Exactly. Yes, I, yeah. I easily believe science is amazing. Yeah. They'll just regenerate people and shit. Yeah. It'll be amazing. Um, so what what are these theories? Wait, so the theory again. the theory is like let's say aliens came here. Why would they come here? It would okay. either be to take over our planet for resources or just yes. to study us because we'd be so vastly inferior to them because they'd have to be so superior to us. They'd literally look at us like amoebas in like the, the pond. Like ants. Yeah, we, like we, we, we would be like ants. ants. And they'd, yeah, like they'd be more likely ants. to be like, ooh. I love looking at ants. Yeah. Yeah. And they'd be more likely to want to study us like that. Quite possibly. There'd be no reason to come here just to, just to chill, really. Some people think the Queen's an alien. Huh? Some people think the Queen's an alien. Some people think the Queen's a lizard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's true. A lot of people, there is actually the lizard people conspiracy theory. A lot of people think there's aliens here now, hidden among us. What are they doing? It's a good question. Why are they here? It's a very good question. Why would you want to be amongst us if we're so vastly inferior? And hiding. Yeah, and hiding. Yeah. Where you could just take over and dominate. Yeah, maybe maybe there's something, I don't know, went wrong on their planet. How did they get here? Maybe they're hiding and waiting to get picked up. Maybe they were here studying, but now they're hiding. What about the one that aliens created humans? I've heard and this. And we're like the Petri dish. They're yes, studying. I've heard this. Like yeah. alien intervention into human DNA. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Where did you hear that one? It's it a, it's a, that's, a, that's a common conspiracy theory, in my opinion. Is it a conspiracy theory? Why would it be a conspiracy theory? What's it conspiring against? Human evolution. Standard theories of human evolution. But that's just a theory in itself, isn't it? It's not proven. Oh, it depends what... Yeah, I mean... Because, I mean... It depends what your definition of proven is. Yeah, exactly. It's It's... It's, it's a conspiracy pro- theory is it against the state as quo. Yeah. Is it as proven as things can get? Nearly. It must be. How much evidence is there for evolution? All I'm going to be a bit like, uh, what was the the girl on um, Friends who didn't believe the the one that was... Uh, I don't know this. Um, did you ever watch Friends? Yes. It was it Phoebe on Friends. Okay, I know Phoebe. Who yeah. didn't believe one of the other characters' theories about human evolution. And he was a he was a paleontologist, so he was basically a guy that like studied dinosaurs and stuff like that he's like but i can prove it to you and she's like well how do you know that 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 those bones weren't just buried by someone else yeah you know she's just going back to him with all these like arguments he's like well i can't but she, how can you it's well it's kind of it's, <laughs> i'm gonna be phoebe right now it's that scientism prove again, to me isn't it? At, oh, some, scientism, at, some, okay. at some point you've got to just believe other people like people mm. if they listen to me about nutrition they don't actually know they've just got to True. they've just got to choose who to believe haven't they yeah. Or they can listen to other people. Some people think, oh, yeah, even Or they can listen to, you know, what, what what do we call him? Brad in Minnesota, the 40 year old virgin on his computer making conspiracy theories up all day. How many conspiracy theories is there about nutrition? Only a million. <laughs> There's God. loads. Yeah. There's loads. Are they I, even conspiracy theories or are they just people trying to make money? The majority of them are people trying to make money. That's what I believe. Of course I, they are. The people who say that um, keto is the best way forward, funnily enough, normally have some kind of invested interest in keto. Yes, but the I say, big names anyway. I say healthy eating is the, the best thing, and I you could say that I have a best but interest but, in people uh, healthy no eating. No disrespect to me on you, they're the big names. The mm. people who like the big people who push it forward. The people who push it forward for the lay people to believe it usually have some kind of invested financial interest in keto or in veganism. Or yes, in, I believe this. All these things. 
they have an invested interest again not saying anything wrong vegan or keto anything like that but they have an invested interest financially in saying so I think, I think that's a lot what happens with nutrition, personally, in my opinion. That is what really happens. Some people pick up a little bit of data and they push that forward to prove their point, to sell their theory and sell their book and sell their idea, like Mr. Holford Dan, who we discussed earlier. Um, like he's he said some very dodgy, questionable things. How can you really write 14 different books about nutrition? I could if I had the time for it. If How I can you do that? I could. No, you couldn't. Yeah. If... No, you couldn't. You'd write two. Because realistically, what is there really that you Maybe really I just need have to confidence. <laughs> I talk a lot. You'd write, you'd write, you'd write, the, you'd write the same thing 14 times. In or a different way. if you want to stay relevant, you jump on the latest science and change something a little bit and create an idea to sell. Well, let's look at it this way. I've made more than, this is not an exaggeration, 3,000 videos online. And it's about the same thing. I've only got one point. Yes. You should eat less calories. And I've, 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 so, I've so, so far spun it 3,000 different ways. Today we're talking about space and aliens. But I'm weaving in <laughs> that people, listen to me once again, please eat less calories just for the good of your own health. Thank you. Now let's get back to the show. You know, yeah. I've only got one point. Do you think I could spin that into 14 books? I think I could. I can waffle as well. You could. I, I can waffle. You could. Honestly. But a lot of these people are writing about different things to stay relevant. Yes, I believe that's that. what they're doing. I and think, they pick up, as I say, on that one obscure study to say the sign the sign shows my X Y Z V B theory makes this true. Yes, that's what they do. I, I a bit like the, the the insulin hypothesis. Me and you've talked about it. People say that insulin makes you store fat. There was literally a news article of a new of a new study saying that they believe the insulin hypothesis yeah. over. Like, literally, it came out, and I chose not to put it in news of the week because I thought I'm not fucking talking about this again. We're not giving <laughs> you're not giving it credibility, but. Because there's a little bit of evidence to say that it does, but it's so... And then people have written books and books and books about it. Yes. I think... And they make money. Even though they might even know it's wrong. They probably do. They're probably intelligent enough to know it's wrong. I agree with you. Some of it's about making money. Uh, A lot of it's about making money. It's nearly all about making money. Well, I believe that I would put a large... This is just my opinion. I would put a large proportion of it down to genuine misdirection or genuine I don't even know how to term it I don't think they're getting it wrong on purpose I think who do you gen- think I think a, a decent- I'm more of a skeptic I look at all these people and think you did that to make money you said that to make money that's fair and I think that's a fair point and I definitely think there would be a high proportion of those two yeah. I think there's also a lot of people who are not getting it wrong on purpose I think they genuinely believe even for the wrong reasons maybe they've not re- researched so- into it enough maybe somebody else convinced them I think they're getting it wrong by accident, but with good intentions. Without mentioning any names, who is one of the biggest selling fitness nutrition authors in the UK right now? He's known for making books about making you lose weight very quickly in a very short space of time. Within okay. a certain, so I think to do play on words, uh, lose weight in Why don't we just, mention just over 14 minutes. Because I don't believe in slagging people off. Okay. So one of then their then claims was this, okay. that hit training boosts your metabolism. Okay, I know this is a You know exactly what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, yeah. And because the study does actually say that it will make you lo- boost your metabolism. I agree, but yeah. But me and you Could... also know that there's so many other caveats to that why it doesn't really help you make you lose weight yeah. because your expenditure for the rest of the day drops because it makes you a hunger increase for the rest of the day. Yeah. But they've written a series of books. Yes. And they are making, I believe I got told one point, a million pound a week. I hope so. And That's I believe crazy. they are intelligent enough to know what they've written isn't really correct or true. I believe they've also changed their tune, though, as well. And they've also changed their tune Which to go with the that. times. I respect that. You res- well, of course, but they made a lot of money. Yes. So d- d- the question, this is this the question, is how this is how people the que- take the they take the original idea and the original study that was meant for good intended purposes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And he the question is, it. did he get it wrong on purpose? Yes or no? <sighs> I think he did. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, hundred percent. I think he didn't. Do you think he believed what faith, he was saying? I have faith in humanity. I choose to believe <laughs> people are nice. I don't. I, that's okay, okay. That's I mean you're different. You believe. That's I don't. great. We've got yin and yang. It's great. You can we can both put forward both points. I, I think they knew all along nice. what they were writing was waffle, but they made a lot of money <laughs> off it. And yours is a more interesting. Ultimately, story. it comes down to the fact that money's the, the same color no matter where it comes well. from, doesn't it? They don't care oh that they God. were wrong. They don't care that their tagline to one you of the books. You can write another book saying why he's right. <laughs> saying sorry I was wrong that time now I've got it now I've got it yeah next time we'll have it again <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm this smart that's hilarious yeah. playing jokes a million pound a week oh my god off something that wasn't really true oh in fact god. one of the taglines for their first book was I believe the tagline was exercise less 
eat more, lose yes. weight. Something like that. I it was. That's exactly what it was. Okay. Which was a play on words because it was exercise less, use hip because yes. apparently you do hit your metabolism be boosted and eat more, eat more high volume yes. foods but you're you right. know you're still eating low calories yeah, overall. Right. It's not wrong. Weight. I'm not arguing. That's not wrong. It's just But they sneaky. knew it wasn't really right. Yeah, but it's also not wrong. <laughs> I'm not arguing. It's sneaky. I don't mind it. <laughs> People can buy what they buy. We could do People a whole story. We could say. do a whole podcast about that particular person or that. I've kind done of it before. Idea. I bet you have. Yeah, I've done it before. Yeah. And um, I don't want to slag them off because I respect the fact that they made so much money and they probably have helped a lot of people lose weight. Because if yes. you buy into the book and you buy into the theory, you yes. follow the protocol. Whether it's right or wrong. Whether it's right or wrong. Sometimes it might work. It, it would just, yeah. Sometimes it might work. Because you probably started eating better. You stopped eating pizza all the time. Stopped Everyone knows they were talking about. Yeah, I know they do. But we won't say it because we're not All right, we won't say the name, but I'm going to say one more thing in big respect to this person. I literally... For all intents and purposes, we'll call them Jay Wicks. <laughs> oh, that's too, that's too easy. Uh, how about Joe I'm out, W? I'm out, <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath at this conversation. Big, big respect to this gentleman, honestly. When it was the lockdown and he did exercise for children... I thought... Why do you think he did that? Th- this is my opinion. I you thought he did it because he's a good person. I looked at it and thought, you're doing that because you want to stay relevant while people aren't buying your stuff. It could be. It could and not- your publicist probably turned around and said, it would be a really good idea for you to do something like it c- this. It could be. It definitely could That's be. It could have been an offer. It could have been an opportunity. You could get really insidious about it. You could think that he's trying to get his face into the younger, younger generation so that when they grow up, Funny they know enough, who he is to get longer doing- buy-in. Newer audiences, younger. He's currently doing something else, which I saw advertising to do with children recently. Uh, he's doing like a, a 15 minute workout with some like famous children presenter every morning or something. Perhaps. And yeah, you're right. And I think it's all about making money. You think it's because they're a good person, but I think it's all about making money. I think it's, you de- it's definitely, some of it's about making money, but. If they were that much of a good person, they would take what they need from that money and they would give the rest back. Okay, if it wasn't about money at all, <laughs> that would be the case, wouldn't it? I don't know how. And I respect money. the fact that we've all got to earn money, we've all got to put roof over our heads, we've got to provide for our family, but there's only so much money you need to do that. They would have given a lot of it back by now. I don't know how much money. Or they would have invested to... it into, I don't know, child obesity. Perhaps. I don't know what people do with their money. If they really did care that much. I, I, I don't know. I would, I'm always skeptic. I always think, why are you doing it? Because you want money. It could be true. And it's it definitely part of it. It 100% is. I think though as well, when when I saw the Spider-Man actions on TV and jumping around for children, I thought, you're the king. I literally thought, you are the king. I mean, I'm also, not sure if I would do that. They've reinvented the burpee about 8,000 times. Yeah. For children on TV, this... Spider-Man burpees. I bet yeah. they have, yeah. Yeah. And it's still a burpee and it's still a terrible exercise. Oh, I don't agree. Yeah, if I you haven't got the proper mobility exercise. to do it, you're going to hurt yourself. Yeah, most people, yeah, I don't agree it's a good exercise. I've never given a client a burpee in my life. Never. Never. Maybe doing it in class when I didn't know what to do and just gave them a filler because I wanted to feel like they had a good workout. I've done that yeah. in the past. Yes. Someone once described this very said person as a cook who loves a good burpee. A cook? A cook who loves a good burpee. That's essentially what it is. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I understand. Sorry, yeah. I was thinking, I was still thinking about yeah. exercise classes. I was thinking, what about cooking in no, exercise no, 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 classes no, no, no. and what sort? Yeah. I understand. I understand. I think if you jump around for children on YouTube every day with no days off and you do Spider-Man actions, you deserve all the money. I think good. I think you literally deserve all the money. And when the kids love you when you're older, you deserve it. Because yeah. yeah, that's... But you didn't do it because he was a good person. Maybe he didn't. Maybe... But I think you deserve it. I think that's cool. It was on his YouTube channel, which he probably got sponsored for for all the views he yeah, had. Yeah, yeah. Probably made loads of money. Yeah. There's how he monotonized I, it. I think he, de- I think he deserves it. I, think you de- no, I mean, I mean hats off. Do you know I what? Like they it. make a lot of money. And I like it. Yeah, they've done really well. I like it. I don't know if I would have done that. I would. If I thought it first. Depends how, how much... I'm the mo- green, I'm the How jealous. much money is it? <laughs> <laughs> how much... How much... Mm, okay, how much money is it? <laughs> it's whether they just really sat there and thought, I'm going to do this to be a good person, or they just thought, what else can I do to make money? Yes. Because they even had their own cooking range at one point. Can it be both? I think it might always be you a blend of both. You can buy a Jay Wicks spatula. That's can possible. You? They put their name on it. Yeah. Yeah, because it was all about making more money. Because they had they had a marketing man who sat behind it and said, "You can make money doing this, 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 and this." Yeah. Funny enough, though, they said they turned down a big 
I can't remember who it was, but it was to basically make uh, frozen microwavable meals with their name on it. Yeah. Because they said they felt it was unethical because they thought they would be unhealthy. Who did that? Huh? Who did that? This person. Really? We discussing. Yeah, that's actually what they said. So you're they, they were given point. a multi-million pound contract to say, all you've got to do is put, give us, allow, allow us to use your name yeah. to make microwavable frozen meals. And it was to do, it's a collaboration with another company. Uh, it, I'm going to say maybe Weight Watchers, it wasn't, but you know how Weight Watchers have their own frozen meals? Sure. So they're probably making money off that. They don't make them. Weight mm. Watchers don't have their own factory. It's someone doing it with their name on it. Yeah, maybe and it was probably know. something like that. And they turned around and said they didn't do it because they felt it was unethical. Could be. I'd not, I'd not what about the, the fact that you sold all those books on an ethical claim? <laughs> I've not seen the meals. Depends if they're good meals. Isn't it? What if they're legit? Yeah. Some, some ready meals they are good. They could have been healthy. Yeah, some ready meals are good. I'm not against ready meals. Depends if they were good. Maybe you looked at them and thought, no, those suck. If they suck, then don't do you it. You could argue that a person who never eats vegetables eating a frozen meal with vegetables in it is healthier. So it is a healthy meal to them. That's what I say. I completely agree with you. So, I think, yeah, um, I, I try and explain to people, a lot of people in their head, they've got this very all or nothing nutrition approach. Where yeah, it has to be organic carrot cut from the hill I'm, and I'm, mountain. I'm, yeah. I'm cook, cutting, yeah. peeling everything, all organic. I'm boiling all these vegetables. I'm doing all this. I'm making full meals all from scratch. Which or, is exhausting. It takes too much time for anyone to ever do. In completely the world, agree. Yeah. Completely agree. Yeah. Massive piss take. Or if I can't be bothered to do that, then I'm going to order takeaway. That's that, and these these yeah. are the two complete extreme. Or would options it just be okay nutrition? that if you had always in your freezer some frozen veg, yes, some frozen pre cooked chicken, yes, and some spices? You preaching? We could literally make a meal in less than fifteen minutes. We just did it in ten. You're preaching, literally. This is the truth. We should, we, we, we should do the the frozen meals in ten to get fitter. <laughs> it's going to sound. It's going to be a shit sounding. No, you would have put your name into a ready meal. It's going to be a shit sounding book. <laughs> but it's it's yeah it's gonna be uh it's what, what, what do they what do they call it when someone does something uh uh not trolling we're not gonna troll them we're gonna do a parody of them oh we could do a parody yeah yes. we could use nothing but frozen ingredients to make meals in less than 10 minutes that are healthy it could work though that could be a real thing i wouldn't do it it could be a real thing i'm gonna do that um, i just thought about it when I think ready meals and frozen meals and stuff like this and tray bake meals, they're, they're, they're a good thing. I try and explain to people that there's a lot of food in between complete cooking from scratch and just ordering a takeaway. Yeah. Takeaways, if we're going to rank all types of food, if you just take takeaway in general, it might be the unhealthiest thing you could possibly go for. It's yeah. it's of overall takeaways, questionable quality, questionable calories, questionable ingredients. I've, I mean, the and, problem and when you, when you say takeaways, everything takeaways organic, that's the best. Things, These yeah. are the extremes. Yeah. What did you say, sorry? Takeaways can mean a lot of different things. So you can have a takeaway wagon mammoths, agree. which could I be vegetables, takeaway. noodles, and meat. Yeah, I'm not against takeaway. Yeah. I order takeaway. Um, I completely but no, agree. There's healthy, there's unhealthy. I'm just saying, if we take all of them into account, most <clears> of it's not great. Some true, are healthy. True, most yeah. of it's not great. Yeah. It's greasy. What is it, sorry? And where does it come from? Monosodium glutamate, loads of salt in it. Yeah, yeah, etc. cetera. I, w I don't want people that I love to be eating questionable random takeaway. That's what I'm saying. I want it to come from a respectable place, preferably. But you're, you, you are right. People go one to extreme or the other. If I can't cook that the, amazing organic There's meal loads of space in between with, those. Yeah. When I used I'm just going to gonna sod it and just eat whatever I want. Yeah, there's so much yeah. in between this. We have to try and not be all or nothing. My it's, meal's going to be a, a packet balanced of Oreos diet. Instead. You have to get somewhere in the middle, don't you? Yeah. When I used to work for you, I used to go to that little Tesco um, just around the corner from your gym. When you used to work for me, you're going to work for me again. <laughs> Aren't you? Yes. We, we've wink, sp wink, yeah. We've spoken about it, yes. <laughs> uh, I used to get two of these Tesco ready meals, mm -hmm. not frozen, unfrozen. It was two for some amount of money that I forget. Probably like a fiver, yeah? Yeah, something like that. Two for some sort of price. Um, and sometimes I'd get the salmon one. So I'd, so I'd get two of these mm -hmm. and I'd eat both of them myself, microwaved. Two salmon fillets, two lots of white potatoes, two lots of green veg. Takes like how long in the microwave? Not long at all. Yep. You know, there's, is it the best thing you could eat in the world? No. No. Is it the worst thing you could ever eat? Definitely not. But it probably sits at above average. Agreed. Easily. Definitely. By a long way, because it had some vegetables in it, had a lean source of protein, some omega 3, in fact. Sometimes this is ghetto. Maybe you've done this, maybe you haven't. This is a personal trainer special. This is ghetto. Getting soup and then already cooked meat or chicken like, and putting it into the soup and then microwaving all of it. I mean, no, it. I didn't do that. I've done that loads of times. But I can believe it, yeah. yeah but even then, vegetable go, soup, go back to the analogy, chicken, that would be boom. better than someone who never eats veg. If they, yep. if they bought a store bought pre made vegetable soup, would be better. Yep. 
It's and decent. it's about stages because once you can get I'm people onto that, veg. yeah, then you can get more veg and more veg and so forth. It's decent. Forth. Yeah. It's decent. That's what I'm saying. It's soup. It's veg. It's natural ingredients. I'm getting some protein. I'm sticking it in there. It's decent calorie control. It says the calories on the side. Is it the best thing ever? No. Is it a bit ghetto? Yes, it is. It's a bit ghetto. But when you're busy and I have a real life job, there's and options. Have got lots of stuff to do all day. Yeah. This is one of my biggest points. Fast food and junk food are no longer the same thing. This is what I always try and explain to people. Mm -hmm. People have always got this idea in their head of, oh, I'm too busy to eat healthy. And yes, sometimes you're too busy to do all that meal prep mm -hmm. and what your idea of eating healthy is. But there's, or people say this all the time, you've, you've heard this a thousand times, oh, I just had to grab something. Mm -hmm. And I say, yes, I understand. Why didn't you grab a packet That's... of pre-cut chicken and an apple? Please. Yeah. There's a million options. You Please. can actually do that. And I, I, that's one for you. I don't want to go to that Tesco. It's, it, it's, not, it's not that you have to grab something. I have to just grab loads yeah. of things. It's what you're grabbing. Yeah. You just need to move your hand from there, just... Yeah. 13 inches to the left. Instead of the pre-packaged pork pie, yes. get the cooked chicken. That's what we're saying. It's actually on the same aisle. If you're eating cooked chicken out of a pack raw, though, you're a savage. You're more hardcore than me because I can't do No, that. no, we're talking... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be doing something with it, don't we? We need to be doing something legitimate. Getting a salad bowl and a pre-cooked chicken. Boom. I like my idea with just apple. It's better. <laughs> just cooked chicken I, 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 <laughs> No! <laughs> Why? What's wrong with that? No, because I had no, some protein. I had no, some fiber. I had some. I had some micronutrients. It's too savage. Why is it savage? No, there's no diet. You won't put them together, obviously. But you just eat the chicken. Oh, as it you is. don't put it together. It needs to be separate mouth. I'm, to I'm talking about your quick grab meal in five minutes here. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Like loads of people say. What's wrong with just like a, a protein shake with an apple? I completely agree. Yeah. I have protein shake and a banana. Do you know Spencer Nadolski talked about it? His on-the-go meal when he's too busy is a protein shake, an apple, and a tablespoon of peanut butter. I believe it. That's when he's on the go. And he's a doctor. And he's an amazing it. like weight loss doctor. He's really good at getting people healthy. He's in excellent shape. Yeah, healthy he's guy. excellent shape. He's jacked. He's older than being you. Yeah. I do this all the and time. Just with just with less fats, I have protein shake, banana. Sometimes I have a slice of toast with jam. Yeah. So I just have a slice of toast with jam before this. Uh, no, I just can't eat that out Why? Pack. Look, I'm half a vegetarian. I only eat very few meats. Do you? Yeah. So um, always. All my life. Did you? I'm very picky eater. Oh, you're one of those. You're picky. Yeah. A bit. Not, not, not like you'd think, but with me time, a bit picky. Like I never eat anything off the bone ever. I've what? never eat, I never eat chicken wings, rib, full what? chicken. Heart, chicken never. wings are incredible. None of this. I went to an all you chicken wings you can a couple of weeks ago. I had 38 chicken wings. It was great. Number I had one. time of my life. Number one, I respect it. Number two, not for me. <laughs> That's all. Why? I can't. Honestly, it tastes so good. I, 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 Look, this is just my opinion, so nobody should pay attention to this, but I just can't be... I'm a gentleman, and I can't be picking through carcass while we're at dinner. This is my opinion. Do you know, one of my best things to do on a Sunday was, after we had Sunday dinner, the carcass would always be in the kitchen, and I used to get the stool, because I couldn't reach the counter at the time. I used to stand on the stool, and I used to pick that carcass dry. I can't do you know, I even used to eat the gristle off the end of the bones. I respect it, because yeah. it's really healthy. I'd be right in caveman times, you wouldn't. No, I'd... You'd I'd, die. <laughs> I'd, you look at that and go, I'm not going near that pig. It's been I'd in the mud too up. long. It's just because I don't have to, so I just don't. I also don't like getting food on my hands. That's another thing. I eat pizza and burgers with a knife and fork. This is one of my things. I'm not sure we can be friends. People laugh, but I really... Pizza literally... with a knife and fork. A burger. Always. Depends on the size of the burger, but come on, brother. Pizza with a knife and fork is no. my favourite. Do you not do that out at a restaurant? Like if they bring a pizza mm. and... No? Mm. No? Mm. No? What's happening? Connor, if I... All right, a pizza what? in a restaurant is what? <laughs> 20 quid. I'm paying to be there. I'm eating oh it how God. I want. You can eat however you want. I respect it fully. I want, what I, I want you to eat your pizza how you eat it while I eat how I eat it. And I'm not going to say shit about what you do. Good. I don't care what people say at the table next No, week. and people can say whatever they want about what I do and I'm not going to back down. I'm going to eat with my knife and fork like a gentleman. I don't want to get it on my That's hands. That's not a gentleman. That's just odd. This is my opinion. The I know. difference you know, being gentrified is not that. Correct. Yeah. But it's for me. Okay. It's just the way I run it. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't eat pork or... or That's I, like the best meat in the whole world. No. I, you I, got I, pork belly. Amazing. I, Bacon. Amazing. I've never eaten pork belly in my life. What? Never. I can never Bro, eat you that. are missing out. I can never you eat that. You are missing out. The crispy bacon. Oh, the bacon, crispy on the fat. Bacon, I like no, Sorry, it. the crispy on the, on the belly and... Oh, the, when you have it like with a sweet sauce and you get the salty and the sweet and the fat. I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, brother. I like that you like it. And I like it's that amazing. people like it. I can't. It's amazing. I can't Where eat are you on organ meats then? No. Why not? No organ meats, no animal fats, no skins, no bones. It's all the best No meats. skin, the no skin bones. Is the best no, meat. no way. What about chicken thigh skin? No. What? Hell it's all no. crispy on the outside. Stop it. What's wrong with you? I don't want chicken thigh. You've not even lived yet. I, I don't want chicken thigh unless I've got well, to. What if I took the bone out and you had the skin on top? Would you remove the skin? 
Is it like Southern fried, like at KFC? Because then I, I can kind of deal with it. Why can you deal with that, but then not just have like some spice on top of it? And yeah. I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll bake the chicken thigh. I'll put some nice spices on it, and then I'll finish it on the grill. So you've got crispy skin on the outside, and it's cooked all the way through, and it's beautiful. I'll agree that it's nice, but I'll have to not think about the fact that it's skin because it'll weird me out and I just won't like it. If you don't eat the skin, I'll literally take it off your plate and eat it. <laughs> I love it. Honestly, I think it's great. Um, it's, it's just me, honestly. I'm just a bit weird about it. I don't eat really lamb or anything like this. Lamb? Oh, lamb is brilliant. No, not Lamb's really. fantastic. I eat chorizo and pepperoni. I know that's pork, but it's too good. I also eat bacon, but only if you take the fat off. What? That's the best bit again. Oh, you might as well not No bother. streaky bacon as well. What the hell oh, is streaky bacon? that's the bacon? best one. No, it's awful. Yes. When, I, when I go to places that, when you pay more money, I get I get streakier bacon. I get less bacon for more money. Some bullshit. Because it's quirky and it's cool. It's not cool or quirky. It's kind of disgusting. And what are we doing? I don't like it. It's any... the best <laughs> bit. It's the best bit of the animal. i tell you what's amazing. Like you You're like missing it. out on And I had it recently. I made it a slow cooked lamb heart. <gasps> and let me tell you, they were amazing oh you're so hardcore and i was even that more hardcore i stuffed them with pork sausage meat first (laughs) (laughs) and then i cooked them in red wine did it it look like little hearts no it's quite big it's a a lamb's heart lamb's quite a big animal so it's probably about it's smaller than my fist okay but it was it was a good size i got them no way did it look like an actual heart it did when it was raw because it was a heart and you stuffed it raw uh, so it had already had the. Um, this is awful. It already had, it already had like the tubes removed, so the arteries had been removed. Thankfully, I should hope so. Or I might have had to butcher and do that myself. I cut off any visible fat because the the fat the the heart is a little bit fatty, and it's lamb because lamb's a fatty meat. And then I made a little slice in it. And I stuffed it full of the. No wait, we've gone past. Did it look like a heart or not? It did. You know when you see an actual heart. I mean, how many hearts have you seen in your life? I've seen pictures. But you never seen one in real life. No. It kind of looked like we expected to. I might have seen it in a museum. I've never you seen it. You can like see the chambers, line. you could see that. Saying. Yeah, you could see that. That's all there? Yeah. No. And then you put stuff into those I chambers. I stuffed it with sausage while meat. While it was raw. While it was raw. Yeah. This is awful. No, it's brilliant. I stuffed it with sausage <laughs> meat, so I took one animal and stuffed Stop it with it. another. I'm a proper carnival. I stuffed it with another. Um, and yeah, then a pig I, in blankets a bit too much for me. This is another what, level. Pig in blankets are what? Like the I, best food in the world. I do really like how it tastes, but I just. I try not to eat. I mean, that's a pig stuffed that's wrapped in a pig. That's true. This actually. was a it's lamb stuffed with a, a pig. One of the way that pork gets me is those mini party sausage rolls. Oh, they're amazing. They're amazing, aren't they? They're amazing. The, the cocktail sausage is amazing. Co- no, not cocktail sausage. That's disgusting. Oh, they're amazing. I can never eat a cocktail sausage. <laughs> stop it. No. No, a cocktail sausage just can stop. So, uh, no. okay. They cannot exist and I'm okay with it. You don't, do you actually like the f- flavour of lamb? Yes. You do? Yes. So if I was to slow cook you a lamb heart with some sausage no, inside it. No, no. And then I cut it up and I just gave you the meat. If you didn't say anything about it, I'd probably like it. And you, you would really like it because it's actually, it's like lamb, but it's like, it's like a lambier version of lamb. It's That's ju- what it tastes like. It tastes just like lamb. It had the texture of meat. A lambier version of lamb. It, and, 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 but it had <laughs> the, the texture. People think lamb meat, lamb heart's gonna, lamb meat is gonna be chewy. It's not. It still like had lamb, the texture. But lambier. It had the, it had the texture of of meat. It was beautiful. Oh. It was one of the best things I ever ate. Oh. And do you know what? It didn't even cost me anything because the butcher couldn't sell it. Really? It's well, no so one wants healthy. to buy it. And it's so, no, so good for you. I'm glad no one wants to buy it. People I are on my him, team. I said to him, you got any lamb hearts? He went, yeah, I've got hundreds. How many do you want? I People went, are on my team. No one wants to. He gave me eight of them for free. No. Yeah. What did you do with the rest of them? I put them in the freezer. Are they still there? Uh, no, I've still eaten them over time. It's haunting that you've got hearts <laughs> in your freezer. Why? Why? Exactly. That's my question. <laughs> Why are there hearts in the freezer? No, I mean, they're left. I've eaten it them all. to life. stop. Oh my God. But it was like the cheapest meal I've ever made in my life. Oh my it was God. amazing. It's so healthy, I bet. So healthy. Organ meats. Shout out to organ meats. I it's don't. I the don't. The healthiest want it. meat in the world. I can't. I can't eat it. But it's, it's so healthy in terms of like micronutrients Vitamins, minerals, for density. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. It's all there. So powerful. And why don't we eat it? Because I find it disgusting. <laughs> That's just me. You know, if you're saying, "Would you like it?" This and this, I would. It's just the thought of it. Brother, me it out. was amazing. I believe you. I'm. I'm. If you weren't, if you didn't get upset with me, I would make you some and secretly feed you some. <laughs> I'd do like a Hannibal Lecter on you. <laughs> Like where he kills the guy in the orchestra and then feeds it to the other people who play in the orchestra. Yeah. I would I would do that. And you'd go sit there and go, that's the best lamb I've ever had in my life. It'd be like, that was lamb heart and it didn't cost me a penny. 
I bet it'd be. I bet it'd be, I bet I'd like it, and it'd be so healthy. What do you think it'd be? Yeah. And you're even better. Chicken hearts are amazing. I just have to do deep breaths and prepare myself for it. Not chicken, chicken hearts. Chicken hearts. Is chi- it, oh, I don't know whether it's if it's small or is that better or but worse. But it's, it's like a chicken nugget. You don't even know it's a heart. No. I, I ate them not knowing no. what they were. <laughs> And I said to the waiter, I said, what am I eating? He went, chicken hearts. No. I was like, oh, really? Oh, they're lovely. Is it a full heart just like, you just chomp on the full heart? Yeah, yeah. No. So you get them in those Brazilian steakhouses. You've been to that Brazilian steakhouse where you pay a set amount and they just keep bringing you steak. No, I'd love to. It's amazing. We'll go to one. Come on. And it's like, it's, like, it's, like a, it's like a delicacy in Brazil, I believe. Where is, the, um, where is this? They have them all over the UK. There's only Sheffield for some reason, but there's like- It used to be, has it gone now? Yeah, it's gone. It was called El Toro or something. Okay. But there's there's one chain called Fazenda, which is in Leeds. Okay. Uh, and I've been to a few Fazendas around the UK and they're really nice. You pay 25 pound, you get full access to salad bar. And while you're, <laughs> while you're, while you're like beer mat is green, they keep bringing you steak or yeah. cuts of steak. Yeah. And when you turn it red, it means I've had enough. I can eat a lot of steak. You know. So yeah, yeah, but they, only, they only give you a little amount, but you know what's really nice about it? You get to try- the different types of steak next to each other. I like because there's two different types of rump. I didn't even know this. There's two different types of rump. I'm not even. Aw- I like steak, but I'm not really aware of what the different types are or in what there's ways. Loads of different types. So they'll do all that. You can have them compared to each other. But at then the they rest- at around, restaurants, I just ask for a recommendation every time because I don't know. They brought around the skewer, and the guy went, "Do you want some of these?" I said, "Yes, yeah, sing them on." He scraped them up about five. Yeah. These tiny little nuggets, and I thought they were little nuggets of chicken. They were little chicken hearts, and they were been slow roasted in garlic, and they were beautiful. I'm- <sighs> And I had a great time and I just kept on eating. I was like, well, bring me some more then. <laughs> I think I was the only person in the restaurant then. eating the heart. So no wonder I was getting a plate full of hearts. I was like happy as anything. They're like, look at this car. I'm like the chicken antichrist. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in chicken, chicken like heaven, there's like pictures of me like that's the devil. Because <laughs> yeah. he eats every part of us. The, you like eggs? Oh yeah, of course I love eggs. I love eggs. I eat loads of eggs. Eggs are, like one of the be- the eggs are the best fast food in the world. You can poach them. You can fry them. You can scramble them. You can do all... you. It'll boil them. You can make little you eggs make, sandwiches. Egg sandwiches. Uh, I don't know about that. Omelets. You don't like egg in a sandwich? I do. No, egg and no, no. I like bacon in a sandwich. sandwich. But or... Omelet. Omelet. You can make a omelet. Put ways. veg in it. Super healthy. Yeah. yeah or chicken in it. Yeah. Stuff chicken inside the chicken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when you say it like that. Oh my god. But yeah, I'll make you some lamb hearts. No, what please. would you prefer, lamb hearts or chicken heart? Oh. What's wrong? You're a nutritionist. You should be backing up organ meat and saying they're amazing. I know, I agree. I've said that already. Organ meat, super healthy. I'm glad you eat it. I want people to eat it. I just don't want to eat it. I'll die earlier. I accept it. I've got to admit, liver's a little bit of a quiet taste. I've never tried it. Liver's got a strange texture to it, and it's a very strong taste, so I'm not a big fan of liver. Normally, what I do with liver is I grind it up, and I stick it in a chilli, so you don't know you're having it. And the chilli takes away the flavour of the liver. Mm. That's how you eat liver. That'd be healthy. So That'd be healthy. Extremely healthy, yeah. Animals, like when they make a kill, like wolves, the leader of the, the wolf yeah, leader of the, the pack first, goes yeah. for the liver first and that determines who's the leader. It's the healthiest leader. part, yeah. Because yeah. you'll have the rest. <coughs> so the wolves get it right, we got it wrong. We throw away all the best bits and we don't eat the good bits. And I honestly believe if you're going to kill the animal, you should eat all of the animal. Yeah. I why, guess the, why waste some of it? I, I don't imagine, again, mostly for money, that any of it does get wasted. It'll get turned into other parts of other Apparently things. Apparently it gets turned into dog food. That's what I'm saying, yeah. The dogs are eating better than us. <clears throat> my, yeah, maybe in some ways. I'm glad for the dog, to be mm-hmm. honest as well. My dad is a lorry driver, um, mm-hmm. and he sometimes tells me stories about chicken factories, which will fucking haunt you, about what goes on. And he says he says nothing gets wasted. It all At the end of it, it all gets melted down, and even that melted down liquid gets sold to someone so for, a, for like an amount per kilo you know the the chicken cartilage that gets turned into glue that's what i'm saying just all yeah. of it and gets... they grind other parts of it down to and, I, and this is the worst bit they grind some of it down to turn it into chicken feed so they're feeding the actual chickens the dead part of the other chickens to save even more money that's why chicken meat's so cheap i do i do admit it's an evil on a different level and that's why yes. you should buy free range chicken you should and free range eggs because it's evil on a totally different world and a different level. And in, in my kind of like perfect world, we would have chickens that get raised on like a farm where they can run around and be chickens yes. and be happy and be free. And we would supplement our diet with other sources of protein, but we would still eat meat. That's why I think it's probably the better way. Yes. Um, I understand. That's what I think will happen. Me and you discuss it about artificial meat. <coughs> yes, it's artificial, a real thing. Artificial meat will be your go-to. Yes. And then your real meat will be your high ticket item delicacy. in a restaurant only. Yeah. Yeah. Delicacy, yeah. Because that's the only It's been a real cow, this one. That'll be a powerful steak. It'll yeah. be like a thousand Real, real meat, yeah. Or something, yeah. 
But um, even though it'll probably be uh, worse quality. Sorry? It'll probably be worse quality. I believe oh, the yeah, artificial yeah, meat but will be, be real. Yeah. And we want the real stuff. Maybe some we people want... do. Sorry? Maybe some people do. Hmm? I don't know if I mind. I don't think I would find it different. I'd eat um, artificial meat. I would. Yeah. I would. I mean, I'd eat, I'd eat hearts, so of course I would. Um, I mean, I've, I've spoken about this on the podcast before, but it's already a real thing. You can already buy this in the world. It used to, like five years ago or 10 years ago, an artificial steak that's never been a cow. It was taken from a skin cell, mm-hmm. turned into a stem cell, then turned into a muscle cell, then grown into a steak and then sold. It used to be like $200,000. Now it's like $20. It's normal It'll price. Happen. It's, it's now. It'll it's now It'll in happen. some places in the world. Not in England. No, but, probably America. <clears throat> um, no, it's a more obscure country than this. Obs- um, really? Yeah, I'll Google it. I can't remember. I'd have thought it'd have been like America, maybe like. Um, what should I Google to get this up? Um, Where can you buy yeah. artificial meat? Maybe from online retailers might do it now. It's not. Is it artificial? Is that the right word? Artificial. It says grass, flowers, or plants for its first suggestions. No, we want something more obscure than this. We want meat. Maybe I should have put steak. Second of article in the Guardian, second of December two thousand and twenty. No kill lab grown meat to go on sale for the first time. That's a year. Whereabouts? Oh, Singapore. Some and created by a Singapore Is it? food okay. agency. Yeah, I suppose <laughs> Southeast Asia, high tech country, Singapore. Yeah, it'll happen. It'll happen in the next ten years. We'll be driving electric cars, eating artificial meat. This company. And I'll have a best selling book on meals you can make out the freezer in ten minutes or less. As a parody to Mr. J. Wicks. Yeah, I'm not sure what way it'll go with food in the future. I I, I agree with you. I, I eat meat. Um, but I do think that maybe apart from the people that are doing it or making money out of it, I believe that most people, and I believe that the that factory farming as a whole is an abhorrent. It's on its way down. It's, it's a horror. It's on its way down. I believe it's awful. Mm-hmm. I don't think anybody likes it. I don't think we agree with it. I mm-hmm. think we all try and not think about it. Mm-hmm. But I believe it's been a necessary evil in some ways that we'll look back on in the future and think, fucking hell, that was bad. But I reckon it'll be uh, studied the, in history. It will. It will, yeah. It will, it will and it'll be looked down upon. It'll be looked oh, down upon. We'll be looked down as Philistines, yeah. I'm going to Google this word because I don't know this word. I really do. Uh, yeah. I know I agree factory farming is evil. Um, it's very unethical. Philist- and that's the reason why I say if you're going to eat the animal, eat all the animal, mate. Yeah, so we're not wasting... They're not wasting anything. That, 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 that chicken still died and you should therefore eat its heart. Because it's the most nutritious bit. <laughs> Someone should. I hope it's not me. Can we, can we draw straws? At least chicken heart chance. burger. There you go. No. Yeah. You can make a restaurant. I, I, I would love to. Propose the health benefits. Yeah. I'll be the nutritionist on video I'd love proposing to. I'd the health benefits. Love to. I'll say, I don't want to eat it, people, but you can eat it. Fill a I think you'd struggle with a niche restaurant where you only sell organ meat. Yeah. You really would. Yeah. It wouldn't make a business sense. No. Because someone would have done it by now. Yeah, that's why the butcher can't get rid of it. Okay. Can I just do the definition of this word, Philistine? A person who is hostile or indifferent to culture and the arts. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, You don't like things that are normal, basically. Yeah. Okay. I, think, I think it will get looked down upon, and it is on its way out, thankfully. Um, uh, yes, yes. I do I, feel... I, agree. I feel like the, the agriculture industry needs to adapt now to the change that's happening in front of them because, of it, because people are going to lose their jobs, and that's what people are arguing against, but... Yeah, it will change. Is is now when you actually go into a restaurant or sorry, should I say, coffee shop, you actually have to stipulate what breed of milk you want, which would never have happened even five years ago. What would people say? Do you want cow's milk? Oh. Or do you want almond milk? Or do you want oat milk? Breed you want of soap? milk. Yeah, exactly. You threw me off with that term. Yeah. Of breed. What do you mean? Well, yeah, it's, it's it's now. Do you want cow's milk with that? Well, yeah, of course I do. You do. Some people I don't. don't. No. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I, don't I have oat milk. Know. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I like oat milk. I've had oat milk in. I've had oat milk. <laughs> funny enough, I had oat milk in porridge before. So oats made with oats. It I've was done amazing. That. I've done that. It was so tasty. I've done that. I, I took. But it the goes piss back to the whole it. chicken inside the chicken omelet. <laughs> I'll call myself out. I took the piss out of that. People making porridge with oat milk. I was saying oat milk is oats and water. You're making oats and oats and water. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Until I tried it, and I was like, "This is nice. It's really nice." <laughs> It's really nice. It's because they put it's oil. Really creamy. Uh, yeah, they put oil and stuff in the oat milk to make. Oh, do they? Yeah. What look, do they you, put just, in? Yeah, just look on the ingredients. Oh, Depends God. what brand you get. I don't know if I want to do that. Depends what brand you get. It's to add fats to it to make it creamier. That's why you can get low fat and high fat like oat milk and stuff like that, and original. And then there's added sugar. I did in. not know that. Yeah, that's why it's creamier. Interesting. So I don't, know, I don't exactly know what brand of oil it'd be. Depends. Or what? Not brand. Sorry. Type. I guess of oil it would be. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I have oat milk and cow's milk. 
in like coffee at once. Oh my god! I know you're such a rebel. Sometimes I do that as a Some men want to watch the they world burn. Don't they? <laughs> I, I think it's nice. I'm lactose intolerant. This is why I try and not have too much cow's milk. I have I have a lactose free cow's milk at home all the time. That's actually really nice. <clears throat> it's the same. It tastes the same. It t- I I think it's creamy personally. I th- because I hate paying full price for, say, almond milk in that little Tesco that me and you eat a lot from, clearly. If it, the lacto-free milk is on offer, I'll buy that. Mm. I now shop mostly at this co-op that's next to me, you know, just... It's expensive. Yes, partly through laziness. Mm. Partly, though, it is more expensive, but their own brand items, for some reason, I really like it. Mm. Um, I only buy really basic items. I, I buy a lot of bread, eggs, meat... Mm-hmm. Lactose, I'm going there after actually. Lactose free milk. Yeah. I just buy literally basic ingredients, cans of like maybe mm-hmm. tomatoes to like make things and vegetables and stuff like that. I don't know. I just find it nice. It's just close to me and convenient. Humans are lazy. We're lazy. We're nutritionists and we're still like, still lazy <laughs> to do the extra little walk to go to a slightly better place to buy food from. Yeah. I actually walk a load though. Do you? I, I bet you do. Sorry? Walk where? I walk loads everywhere. I do. I mean, I do enough actively in to not really need to go for a walk. Mm. I don't need to. Because you're walking around the gym all day. I walk around the gym all day. Just in my normal day, I'll do 13,000 steps. You start to iron and walk here and there. I'll do more. That's good. Um, and you also exercise on top. I exercise, yes. I don't, I don't. Play rugby still? Huh? Do you play rugby No, no, still? done, mate. All done. Done that a long time ago. What you've done with it? Mm. Oh, you finished with all of it? Sorry? You've finished with all of it. You're just not playing anymore? No. I'm kind of glad for, glad for you in a way. Yeah, my body's glad for me. I know you like it. My hearing's it. glad for me as well. Hearing? No, I start to lose my hearing. From what? Too much impact. To your ears or to your head? So? To the ears or well, to the head? Well, a bit of both, because the ears attached to the head, isn't it? Well, it's inside the head. I've never really played rugby on any level to know what goes so on. So I got really bad tinnitus in this ear, and actually from chatting to a few doctors, normally tinnitus you get equal in both ears, but mine's really bad in this ear, only a little bit in this ear. And that's because it's because of trauma. It's not because of a sound impact that's hit me, not from working in a noisy environment like most people with tinnitus. It's because of trauma. And every rugby player has a favoured tackling shoulder. And this was mine. And even the idea about rugby is when someone is running, let's say, let's say someone was running from this way, from my left to my right. In theory, I should tackle them in my right shoulder because that means my head would be behind their legs. Okay. Because think about it. If they're going to cross me and I'm trying to tackle them, and if yeah, I put my head in front of their legs, there. sorry, if I put my head in front of their legs, whereas I'm putting my head in front of their legs, I can get kicked in the head. Yes. So the idea to tackle safely is you want your head on the opposite side of the legs. Safely with quotation marks. Safely, yeah. So this is what we call a safe ta- tackling technique, but everyone has a favoured tackling shoulder. And you'll do, you'll do it subconsciously. I used to do it all the time. I tackle someone with the wrong shoulder. I understand. And I take a thigh to the side of the head or a knee to the side of the head or something like that. Yeah. Um, I understand. So I had that much impact on this side. The tinnitus was just getting worse and worse and worse. So I was just like, I can't do it anymore. After a game, I'd walk off that pitch and my ears would be ringing like you wouldn't believe. Um, if you're going for health and longevity, this is not what we need to be doing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a good- it's ridiculous. Let's go play a game of 15 men. We're going to run into each other as hard as physically possible. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But it's great fun. I'm sure it's great fun. I'm sure you were powerful. I'm sure it was a great game. I'm sure it was it's exciting. Great, it's brilliant. I'm, I'm sure it's it. camaraderie. Yeah, it's camaraderie I'm when sure you it's... won, when it was like a, a battle against the elements, you know, yeah. it was raining yeah. and it came down to a couple of points in the last minute of the game. It was brilliant. I'm sure. Best Everyone pushing ever. themselves, yeah. There was one game I remember really well. We were away to first, which is out near Ripon. So we had to travel for a couple of hours all the way up there on a coach journey. We had a couple people drop out. So we had 15 men. We should have had 20. So we had the bare minimum for a team. It was raining like you wouldn't believe. The game was back and forth. They had, they had <laughs> Rugby's the... Rugby's one of those games. They rarely call it off, don't they, for the weather? Well, we never call it off. <laughs> you we play, never... You just, I played are playing on, anyway, boys. I played on rugby pitches that were so <laughs> frozen, they were solid. Oh, my God. And we still played on it. It's ridiculous. Oh Let's God. go play on solid ground. So they got the advantage. We got the advantage. We got the advantage. We got the advantage. It was back and forth. We're, everyone's tired. People are injured. We should have had substitutes. We didn't have any. And we won it in the final minutes of the game. And I remember like the celebration afterwards. Like, just, <laughs> you drinks. Just, you were just hugging people covered in mud. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, do you remember you know, Giovanni? I kissed him on his forehead. I was like, I love you, man. This is amazing. We won. <laughs> and it meant nothing. It meant nothing. Like it, it meant nothing. We were playing in a league that means nothing. That we were not playing for money or anything. We paid to be there. We paid for a coach to go there. <laughs> and it was great. It was one of the best feelings ever because we won it by the skin of our teeth. Amazing. And then we got drunk afterwards and got absolutely annihilated. Of course like, you we did. were absolute kings. Of course. 
but it's completely logical because I mean, <laughs> of my hearing's gone in my left ear. Drinking straight after as well. Yeah, immediately so drinking after head trauma. Yeah. Brain. yeah. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, I'm sure you had a good time. You need to remember those memories because. Yeah. But now we're going to be healthy. Hopefully, I have those memories. I won't get Alzheimer's. <laughs> yeah. What do you know about? Brain health and longevity in terms of brain health and stuff like this. Uh, do you know what? Actually, rugby has seen a massive drop in the last couple of years because of the link between head trauma and Alzheimer's. Yeah. And it, particularly in the amateur level, because so many people are doing what I'm doing, going, why am I doing this? Yes. Why am I doing this week in, week out? Yes. And I think they've, what did they say? They'd done a study on a, an elite player, a rugby player's body. So not, obviously I was never elite. But it was like being in 20 mini car accidents every week. That's yes. what it was, the toll on their body. I believe it. 20 mini car accidents Yeah, every like week. shocks. Yeah. Every um, angle, left, right. And the position I played as well, I'm very much a defensive player. I love tackling. So I would normally, <laughs> I would normally come off the pitch as top tackler. Okay. I would have the highest stats for tackles on the team. So I'd probably put in 15 or 20 tackles a game. So 15 or 20 times a day. I'm throwing my Slams. head and my body down at someone's legs who's coming at me at full tilt, who could be a 20 stone man. Yeah. And I'm trying to take him down. Yeah. And that's what I would be doing for fun. What day of the week is this? Huh? What day of the week is it? This is Saturday. So it's a lot for a weekend. Every Saturday. Oh, it's a lot for a weekend. And I would come home and I would lay down and I'd be broken and I'd fall asleep and I wouldn't be able to move. So much pain, I bet, the day after the day after. Pain, you'd, you'd be in pain. You'd just be exhausted. You'd be like, this is the end of the day. You couldn't move. You'd be, be battered. But th- that's. Amateur rugby is taking a big hit because of the link between Alzheimer's and and in another brain uh, problems uh, later in life for a lot of rugby players. Um, so people like me have just gone, I don't want to do it anymore. And actually, a lot of teams are struggling to find players at the minute. And amateur rugby is taking a big hit for that reason. And probably rightly so. And the, the thing is, you, they're trying to make the sport safe, but you can't make a sport like that safe. Yeah, they're trying to do this across different sports, aren't they? They're the trying to do all the different NFL sports. NFL are trying, trying to, to change rules. Limit and heading in am, uh, amateur yeah, football. Yeah. How are you going to do that? People train it less these days. Yeah. Because even even footballers get CTE, don't they? Like mm-hmm. concussions it's very all sad. the time. Yeah. Very, very sad. Um, Any but, head trauma, really. <clears throat> even people who ride jet skis, it's been found. Has it? Boom, 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 I boom. Suppose, in yeah. the ocean, yeah. Anything. It doesn't even have to be like a head trauma. You're just your head slamming forward mm. in any way. Because, well, your head's moving like that, but your, your brain's on the stem in the water. So it's probably going like that and having a little knock constantly on the I side. Know, yeah. But yeah, loads of different ways. I didn't know that. But I guess there's consequence to nearly everything. But why else in some are we going? Well, unless you're going to sit there wrapped in cotton wool all day, or you could live and win that game in first on that rugby pitch and ah, be like kings for the day. <laughs> you just you just, you just got to weigh up the risk, haven't you? And do different things at different times. Yeah. When we're younger, we tend to do more foolish, crazy things. Yeah. Like I said, these days I won't even ride a bike. Maybe maybe ball. that's what's happening, brother. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just getting older. And I'm looking at things more logically just and thinking, do I need I, that, to do that anymore? That's why I don't even want to ride a bicycle. So I just think, do I really want to get knocked <laughs> You were over-logical. Do I really want to get... I've got slippers on. Do, do, <laughs> we're sat in armchairs. Do I really want to get knocked off a bike by a car? I think, no. No. I'll just get a taxi. Honestly. <laughs> but yeah, it's very, it's very sad. There's a lot of big... Um, there's a really famous rugby player called Steve Thompson. He's not that old. I think he's only 50. And he's got early onset stage Alzheimer's, and he's a World Cup winner, so he like he achieved the pinnacle of any rugby player in their career. Yeah, and that's now what he's facing. Yeah, um, and he wasn't even making a lot of money back then because it was only just turned professional, mm. so he's hardly even walking around, probably rich mm. from it. I'd just like to say before we move on in the conversation, I'm not against cycling. Shout out to cycling! If there's any cyclists listening, please mm-hmm. continue. I'm glad that you cycle. It's like you eating organ meat. Again, these things things are just not for me. I'm just basic. If I was a vanilla, if I was a flavor, I'd be vanilla. If you want to say? If I was a flavour, I'd be vanilla. Okay. Just, yeah, no, you would, yeah. Not too much. You'd actually make vanilla look interesting. You'd be worse than vanilla. No, vanilla's great, though. Vanilla's <laughs> Said someone who, who is vanilla. Yep. <laughs> vanilla's great for all situations. You can have it at a party. You can introduce it to your mother. It's, it's, it's business. It's also formal, but it's also... You can let your hair down with some vanilla, too. Goes, Goes well. with many different things. Goes along top of a brownie. That's what I'm saying. It's, uni- it's, <laughs> it's a multi-tool vanilla. But it's still vanilla. Yep. I don't think it's bad. Anyway. Um, what were you going to say? We were talking about brain health and mm. stuff like this and CTE. They're, they're finding out not only that all these things are happening, though. What about all the things they can do about it? There's loads of things you can do about it these days, isn't there? Okay. Creatine, for one. Creatine, seen, yeah. Seeing all about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T- turning out steadily over time to be 
just as good for the brain, if not better, than it is actually for the muscles and body. Okay. Yeah, really good for brain protection and neuron protection and sl slowing um, mm -hmm. Alzheimer's and dementia onset and stuff mm -hmm. like this. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Lion's mane mushroom, you know about this? I uh, don't know so much about that one. The creatine one I'd heard a couple of years ago, start taking creatine habitually. Probably for of it recently, you'd start it again just for that reason. I need to take it. It's a supplement I don't do you take. Know, it's but it's cheap as well. Yeah, it's cheap. It's not even expensive. No, I should take it as well. Yeah. Yeah. I it's, it's seeming like over time, most people should just take it. Yeah, just take it. Yeah, most yeah. people should just should. It's just a normal thing that's in yeah. food. It's just. It, in, everyone now jumps into the vitamin D3. Vitamin D is great. Loads of people seem to be doing that now, even though they don't know why they're doing it. You should now just start taking creatine. I kind of think so. Yeah. I kind of think. Kind of the same with omega 3s. Or you should take a natural source of creatine. <clears throat> Yeah, which you have to kind of have like rawish steak, don't you, or something? Meat. It seems like red. Yeah, but if you cook the meat too much, the creatine like what would it be degenerates. I don't know what the correct word would yeah. be. Yeah, it does. So you have to have like rawish steak. So you can't eat that's that. That problem for me. No, it wouldn't be. I like, like it moving. Yeah. It wouldn't be for you. <laughs> if, if you, like, you know, like minced meat. Yeah, doesn't work. Does it not? No, not really. Kind of thing. Not really that good. You okay. know, kind of thing. It's just good to supplement. Mm -hmm. I don't really think you can get. Well, I don't know if you can get too much. It's a good question. I've never seen any no, recommendations no. higher than five gram a day personally, except in a loading phase. So I don't know. Anyway, seems to be good. Lion's mane mushroom um, helps to regenerate new brain cells. It's a real thing. It's just a normal mushroom you can okay. just buy. You can just eat it. Um, nicotine in some ways. Not that people should really? smoke. Yeah. Oh. Not, that pe not that people should smoke, but stimulants like caffeine I, and nicotine. I'm, I'm a, both I'm a, shown to be good for brain health in small quantities. I'm a big fan of like nicotine gum. Yeah, or uh, it, nicotine patches. It really switches I'm not saying people one. should do this. I don't think people should do this. But I'm just saying... But there's nothing wrong with nicotine itself. No, apparently not. This no. seems to be the thing. Again, I don't recommend people do this. I don't recommend people take or use drugs. I, I, I've, I've used nicotine when I've had a lot of work on and I've needed to be focused for the day. Yeah, and I've, mild I've, I've stimulant, had like, that's yeah. all. And it's amazing. It's actually really, really good for weight loss. Yeah. Because it really blunts your appetite, appetite. some people say. Hugely. Yeah. Hugely. And again, I don't recommend people take... I don't know if you. And it's bizarre that two nutritionists say, hey, saying you should have nicotine else. to lose weight. I don't recommend that. I don't know if you do. I don't. I don't. I don't I've never given it to a client. Never told anyone about it. But I did help someone once who's preparing for a show. Yeah. So super lean, basically slow starvation, dying essentially. Yeah. Really, really hungry. I said, have you tried having a nicotine gum? Yeah. And they said it was amazing. Yeah. It instantly took away their thing. So I think in that circumstance, it gives you a little bit of a buzz. That's why people so? like gives you a little bit of a buzz. That's why yeah. people like cigarettes. Well, because it's like a drug almost. It's, it is a drug. It's it caffeine. Drug, yeah. It's just like caffeine, but a different version. Is, it's it, like a, is it linked to caffeine? No, it? not in the same way. It's just oh. like I just meant it's like a brain stimulant. Oh, it that's works like, in the same way caffeine does. No, I don't even think it works in oh. the same way that caffeine does. So why is it like caffeine? Just in the way that it's a brain stimulant that kind oh, of wakes okay. you up and gives you a buzz. Mm -hmm. That's all I meant. Literally, in its outwardly forward effects. Mm -hmm. Like you get a buzz off like a cigarette or a nicotine gum, mm -hmm. but you'd also get a buzz off caffeine. You mm -hmm. might stay awake a bit longer. Both have anti-appetite effects. Oh, okay. That kind of thing, innit? Kind of like, yeah, I didn't know nicotine helped protect the brain though. I've heard this. I've not seen these studies. I've just heard people talking for quite a while about this, how nicotine itself seems to have like, and caffeine as well, has brain stimulatory effects. It seems to be over time in small doses, seems to keep the brain. No, mate, I'm, I'm going to have a super brain then. Stimulate. It's a bit of coffee, six, not bad. Yeah. Bit of nicotine, hopefully not from cigarettes, maybe supplemented in some other way. I don't recommend that, but mm -hmm. some people do. Legit. Some people do. And there's loads of other things as well. They're just finding out about all these little nootropics and things that do this. And there's not much evidence at the minute, but within five to ten Tell years, come, yeah. it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. It's going to be real good. If I had loads of money, I would take loads of supplements. There's like these mushroom supplements you can get. What would be what, what supplements would you take? Loads so of, obviously we're talking vitamin D3. I already take that. Creatine. I would take that. I should. Would you take fish oil? I already take fish oil. Well, actually, that would be in one of them. Yeah. I what else you got it. not going in there? Uh, right now, I also take multivitamin. Do you take multivitamin? All the time. Okay. All the time. I wouldn't put that in there. I do. I love veg. Um, I, eat, I eat veg every day, but I just don't ever believe that I could eat enough veg. And I just think, okay. fuck it, for me, I'm just taking what it. What else would you do? I, I already take multivitamin. I take extra. I take an extra one on top, which is extra magnesium, zinc, and calcium on top of that multivitamin. Okay. I take an extra 1,000 vitamin C per day on top of the multivitamin. Okay. This is because I've looked at the back of... These are not recommendations to other people at all. Mm -hmm. This is me for my diet. I've looked on the back of my multivitamin and the magnesium, zinc, and calcium kind of sucks. And I just want to cover all my stuff. Mm -hmm. So I've got this multi off Amazon, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then looked on the back of it and seen that it's got low vitamin C, it's got low magnesium, zinc, and calcium. Mm -hmm. So I've got extra of those on top. And then what did you? what did we say? Omega-3. Um, lately, 
I've even bought even more. I've wasted some money quite quite recently. I've been trying five HTP. I love it. Recently, do you? Yeah. I've not noticed any effects particularly, but I've not been taking it consistent. Did you not? No. No, I can honestly say within a couple of weeks of habitually using it every night before I went to bed, I felt really good. I noticed one day I felt more switched on. I was more alert. I just felt really good. But what I did notice was uh, I did it, felt better, and then it seemed to kind of tail off. It didn't seem to get any better and slowly oh. seemed to not work as well. Maybe that's maybe that's the case. Maybe it isn't. Mm. Um, but 5 HTP, again, pretty cheap. Probably, I wouldn't say it would be an essential go-to. I probably don't need it. No. Um, I'm just I'm just looking at it now. But I just thought I'd try it. This is just for me. I just, I, mm -hmm. I've just heard, seen a couple of new studies. Yeah, maybe yeah, I heard yeah. it on a podcast. That is thought, what I kind of oh, did, really? yeah. Really? And yeah. I thought, well, I'll just try it. Why I've not? still got some now. Whenever I'm feeling a bit fatigued and really tired, I, I, I try some. Over time, I've tried loads of things. And I don't mind trying a bit of this and a bit of that just now and again. Just, just So I'm not, I'm not only recommending it. I've also tried it. It's just mini experiments that I consider mm -hmm. safe. Um... It says 5-hydroxytryptophan, 5-HTP, mm -hmm. is a chemical that the body makes um, from tryptophan. I get enough tryptophan anyway because my protein intake Doesn't it convert bad. into something? Yeah, I think it's serotonin. Yes. Or one of the... No, I think you're right there. I think it's serotonin. It is. It says here it is related to the produ production of serotonin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that, that's why I was taking it, just because mm -hmm. I've heard it has benefits for sleep and benefits for happiness. Um, mm -hmm. But when it's due to tryptophan, that's just an amino acid. My protein intake is mm -hmm. so high, too high, mm -hmm. higher than it needs to be all the time. Am I right? Mm -hmm. I, I have IBS as well, so I can't eat loads of different things all the time. Um, but one thing I can eat forever is loads of meat. Mm -hmm. I can eat infinite meat and nothing else. What ever do you happens. think sets off your IBS? What I know sets it off is I'm lactose intolerant for one. So most dairy things, mm -hmm. um, I have to get lactose free versions of things. Um, some fruits do, like apples. I can't ever eat apples, especially not apple skin. Mm -hmm. Apple skin is absolutely... Ah, awful. that's why you're against my apple and chicken. No, it's just <laughs> raw ingredients like that. What okay. Another thing that I'm kind of weird with, there's loads more things that I'm weird with. Another thing that I don't really like is raw foods. The only thing that I like raw is fruit, and only some fruits. Everything else, I don't like salad or raw vegetables or... I love raw veg. Anything like this. Yeah, I can actually sit there I don't and really eat like a nuts. carrot and celery all... I, I can eat a raw carrot if it's got, got a bit of water on it and it's cold and it's no. got a crunch. That's quite nice. No, I love how it is. My mum used to send me to school with a little bag with carrots, mini carrots in water. Mm -hmm. And I would eat them as a kid. Yeah. At like primary school. But what, what essential supplements would you have? That's what I'm talking about. What essential ones would you have? You'd have omega-3. So the, yeah, free. these are... I, I already take essentials. these. Yeah, yeah, multivitamin, omega-3, extra magnesium, calcium, and zinc, extra vitamin C. Creatine. Uh, I should, well, take, should creatine, take creatine, yeah. Protein, I don't really count protein powder as a supplement. Uh, it kind food. of is. No, it's a fruit. Isn't. Yeah, it's a, it technically it's a, a food, food substitute or a food product. It's a food. Yeah. yeah. It's a food. So yeah, I don't really is. count that, yeah. yeah. Um, just comes under supplement categories, doesn't it, on like websites and in stereotypes. Um, what else do I take? Is that it? No, vitamin D. Definitely vitamin D. Is that it? That might be it. At the minute, I tried L-theanine. Wow. As well. Sounds like a cryptocurrency, that does. Um, people said if you pair it with caffeine, or there's just studies pairing it with caffeine, and it's kind of a, it's supposed to, it's like an anti-anxiety kind of thing. It's just another amino acid. Uh, it's super oh, basic. Oh, sorry. It, the way you pronounce it, yeah, I've heard of it. Uh, uh, Alphine. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I'm getting yeah, it wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's how I've heard it pronounced. And I've seen oh, it in I've some seen. fat burners. <laughs> Which are high in caffeine, they put that in there to bring down the, the jitteriness of it. That's no, what no, I, heard. I agree. I agree. Yeah, T H E A nine, yeah, Thea nine or Thea yeah. nine. I don't know. Um, yeah, I've tried that. To be honest, notice nothing. Um, again, it's an amino acid. My protein intake is so high that I'm just these do nothing. I get so much protein anyway; mm -hmm. it's just crazy. I get so many amino acids. Mm -hmm. My body's just going crazy for amino acids all the time. But that's, that's all. Extra ones I would like to take, though. I would like to get these extra, like, mushroom supplements. The mushrooms are really expensive, though, aren't Really they? expensive. Yeah. This is why I said if I had all the money, mm -hmm. then I'd take these mushroom supplements. Lion's mane, reishi, um, other, I can't remember, couple, like two or three other types of mushrooms that have these little, like, nice specific benefits. There's different nootropics you can try, different this and that, really nice. Mm -hmm. I'd get a wider range of extra vitamins. I must admit, if, if, if money was an object, I probably would like to try the mushrooms more. But my kind of ones would be the omega three, vitamin D three, uh, creatine. They'll be my essentials for everyone to have. Mm. If everybody took those, statistically, you would be likely to live longer and I live a better life. Yeah. 
You'd be um, happier most likely as well. Mood disorders linked life, to yeah. those. Creatine's then, linked to antidepression. Omega three's linked yeah. to antidepression. Vitamin D's linked to antidepression. Yeah. Literally. Uh, and if money was an object, yeah, I'd, I'd like to try all the different types of mushrooms out there. Yeah. I once had a lion mains coffee. And I don't remember if it was did a placebo you? effect, wow. but I actually really enjoyed it, and I did genuinely feel better afterwards. I don't know whether that's placebo or I not. I felt more switched on, more just alert. I was, I was there. I was in the room. Don't know why. I don't know. Could have been placebo. Probably more likely was it was one coffee. Cost a fortune, obviously. Because it has to. Where was this? Event. It was in some really obscure vegan place in Cutlery Works. It's not there now. Mm. Um, it was when Cutlery Works first opened. They had a vegan place in the corner. Uh, and it didn't do very well because I think everything they made was fresh and it always had a very limited shelf life. And it just, I think as a business model, it was straw to make money for that reason. Um, it's got to be rough being a restaurant in general. Did you know the highest proportion of businesses that go insolvent are restaurants? No, but I'm not surprised. Not it's surprised. It's going to be so rough. Because it's, it's rough. And also, you could be the hottest food in town, but you're only hot for a short period of time when you think about it. I don't know. Well, well food comes in trends, doesn't it? I guess. So a big trend at the minute is Vietnamese food. Everyone's going crazy for are Vietnamese they? food. They're going crazy for, for pho and banh mi. But in, oh, a couple yeah. years, in a couple of years' yes. time... People okay. will get bored of that on the Maybe. move to something different. Perhaps. And even fast food's in danger right now because people are getting healthier mm -hmm. and they're moving away more and more from fast foods. But obesity is also going up. Yeah. So well, it's cause, but that's it's, it's not linked Some to people are moving It's away. not linked to fast foods because we're eating too much. You can eat all the healthy food you want, eat too much, you gain weight. Yeah. yeah. That's true. That's true. So um, that's why McDonald's changed a long time ago. McDonald's was purely just burgers yep. and chips. Yep. Now it does... Salad. Salad. Does it does carrots? Yeah, carrot bag. Does, I don't mind it. Carrot, carrot bag. bag. I'm not mind. It does, it does mind fruit. It. It, it did salads. It salads nice it. from it there. Sweet to. chili chicken salad, not bad. Yeah, but not it, bad because it had to. chicken wrap, not bad. Had to change. It had to change yeah. its whole menu. But also chicken wrap and salad. But also they've changed it another way. They've got the double Big Mac. <laughs> it's bread, two Big Mac burgers. Bread, two Big Mac burgers. Bread. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're just racking them up. They That's are. another thing I can't wait for. In 10 years, how, how big is it going to be? I'm excited. I've now seen some uh, like see. pubs doing like a triple stack burger. And I even saw, even yes. me, a meat lover, has got to say, at what point do you need that much? There's, there's a pub don't. in Sheffield that I just literally can't remember which it was, but they've got an advert outside of their pub right now. And if you look at the burger, it's literally got four or five burgers on it. Why do you need it? You don't. You can I, enjoy I it with you. one burger. I, I eat loads of burgers. I yeah. love burgers. I love burgers. Burgers are amazing. I make my own... Multiple times per week, I love it. But you can't stack it that way. How am I going to eat that with my knife and fork? Question one. Valid point. Question well one. Made. Yeah. I'm going to have to lay it down sideways, cut it long ways. It's what? no longer a burger. You can't pick it up. You've got to literally chop it. If you can't get it in your mouth, with a knife and fork. this is ridiculous. Some burgers, I, I don't know about you, but I prefer a burger that's wider and not as tall. Yep. Rather than like some like hipster burgers. They're like... Really small base and but tall, Stacked, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. And I'm and the bun's really tall, and I'm like, how much eat that? Yeah. What what do we do with this? Yeah. It needs to be only like a certain height, and then it can't go more. Mm -hmm. Then it needs to go wider circumference, doesn't it? That's how you make a mm -hmm. real burger. Out of your opinion, what's the, what are the best burgers? Best brands? Any? Yeah. Oh, good question. I tell you where there's a good burger around here at the minute. Uh, people might not know if they're watching this. If anyone's watching this, Saw Grinders Union do a brilliant burger. Saw Grinders Union. This is at Kellam Island. Kellam Island. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what they do. It's so special about it. But everything about it just tasted nice. Yeah. The meat was really good quality. The sauces on it were really nice. Mm -hmm. The bun was really nice and toasted. Mm -hmm. It came with some triple cooked chips, sort of really nice and seasoned. And it came with some gravy as well. It's just like the most amazing <laughs> gravy. We're in Yorkshire. Mate, it was just. It was We're so in Yorkshire. It, that was, it was so tasty. Um, I'm not really a big fan of these big dirty burgers that are going around at the minute. You know, like what? So, what we're uh, you know the, the Fat Hippo ones? No. So you know what Fat Hippo is? No. It's in Commune. Uh, they've got different... It's in Commune? It, yeah, it's in Commune. Okay. It's got some... I think they're like a Northeast brand of burger. They're called Fat Hippo because they're basically big and dirty. Okay. You can get like triple stacked with peanut butter and all kinds. And then... I don't mind it. Uh, it I depends just, what you're putting on it. Onion rings? No. I don't like onion rings. No, get away from me with onion rings. But on they're, a just, they're, they're like big, dirty, unhealthy American style burgers. And I'm like, I just don't, I don't want that. Can I, can I give a shout out to a Fallen King? One of the best burgers I ever had, you've just reminded me, was if, from Han What are you going to say? I'm going to say Handmade Burger Co. I didn't like that that much. They what? were a bit boring. 
I, one of the best burgers I ever had in my life from there. I've got it really? multiple times. Peanut butter, bacon, and chili jam beef yeah, burger. Yeah, yeah, they do the same thing at Fat Hippo. Yeah, do they? Yeah, I'm gonna. Probably have you to live around there. the corner from it. Why have you not been there? Um, yeah, I go into commune as well. I've just never. Have you a- never ever seen the Fat Hippo then? No. How have you not seen it? Is it only one vendor that's still there from when it first opened? I think. Well, it's been lockdown, and then after lockdown, I've been eating out a lot less. Have you? Yeah, out across lo- across lockdown, I got into making my own meals, even junk food meals, like making my own pizzas from scratch and making Chinese food from scratch and curries from scratch. So I've been going out less, okay. um, and burgers and stuff like this. So I've not really been paying attention to what's been going on in restaurants. Soul Brands do a very good one. Theirs was good. I really, really liked theirs. It was just nice. Everything about it was good. Uh, where else have I had a really, really, really good burger that I just loved? Out of fast food, for me, Five Guys is the best. I knew you were going to say that. It's dirty. And that's what I'm not going to be happy about. Why? You don't like Five Guys? it's terrible. What? It's like an expensive McDonald's, brother. Definitely. No. No, I agree with no. you. No. I agree with you. But that's not good. No, cheap McDonald's is... I don't really like McDonald's. We can... I, I hold myself... Why people like Five Guys? Five so Guys is so good. not that special. It is. It's not. It's so special. You are wrong. No. You are. Why don't you like it? I don't care about it's your opinion best. in this case. You are wrong. The chips are amazing and they give you way too many, which is great. No one can eat a lot. I've only ever had it twice. They're so salty and that's the way I love it. I had it twice. Yeah. And I just, every time I was like, is this it? Is this as good as it gets? No. That, no, it's not as good as it gets. But out of, I'm talking out of McDonald's, Burger King, Five Guys, out of the chain, like not great burgers. I'm not talking. Okay, it's I'm beating not, them, but that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's all that, I'm saying. But that's not that special. It is, because everyone Why? loves McDonald's so much. And I, I get it, Five Guys is three times more expensive, which is but, a piss take. But they, they charge too Five much. Guys does not have the breakfast menu McDonald's has got. And that means it trumps it. Shout out to breakfast menu at McDonald's. Okay, okay, so. I might prefer breakfast menu at McDonald's okay. to normal menu. You're, you're Elon Musk billionaire. You can yeah. have five franchises in your home. What are you picking? Subway. Ooh, interesting. Why are you going Subway? Because when I'm trying to be healthy all the time, I don't mind. It's not that healthy. It's better than Pizza Hut or McDonald's or KFC or. Okay, so you go. You go. So you go Subway. I'm I don't mind that. the vegan meatballs. I don't mind the normal meatballs. Oh. I don't mind the Subway. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, talk, talk to me. What else you got? You probably got Five Guys in there then. All right, throw Five Guys in there. We can take it. I don't really what else eat out that much. Franchises. Come on, you got. <gasps> you can have them. They're in Wait. your mansion. You can go down Wait. twenty-four hours a day. Have whatever you want from them. I've got the ultimate shout out. Go shout out to Heavenly Desserts. Do you know Heavenly Desserts? Do you know Heavenly Desserts? Oh, yeah, I know. Have you been there? Yeah. In Sheffield? Yeah. Oh my God, it's the best place ever. It's my number one place in history. Okay, okay. I order two desserts for myself. I bet you do. Dessert waffle, and I want nine brownies on the side. I want three scoops of vanilla ice cream. I'm going to eat all of it. I'm going to feel sick at the end. They'll say, how was it? And I'll say, I feel so sick. And it'll be great. I'll fall to sleep immediately for 10 hours. You know, okay. if I, you know, if I'm eating, if I want yeah. if I want some junk food, shout out to Heavenly Desserts. Oh Heavenly God. Desserts, okay. Cookie Dough is amazing. What other franchise are you having? I find them too sweet, those places. They're just too... There's no such thing for me. No, there is for me. I'm, I'm, I can't deal with something that rich. I want all the richness. I put the... I, put the I, I, would, I would probably have one waffle. waffle from there and be happy. And I'd still feel sick. You'd feel sick, definitely. Most people... I feel sick. Well, I what, what, what else <laughs> we got? What else we got in there for our five franchises? Come on, brother. Um... Some kind of pizza place, but I'm not yes, sure where. Everyone's got to have a pizza place. You've got to have a pizza place. Domino's, Pizza Hut, N- Papa you know, John's. Out of those three, I'd pick Papa John's. What would you pick? Probably Papa's for me as well. Would you? They're quite dirty, but yeah. Yeah, I like their sauce. It's got like something yeah. to it, in my opinion. But but shout out to none of them. I would not pick any of them. I'd have to scout for a new one because this is what happened to me during lockdown. I only I was only eating takeaway like let's say once a week because I'm trying to be healthy, especially yeah. in lockdown. I'm not even training that much. I would think, right, I'll eat healthy all week. This weekend, I'll order a pizza. And I'd order it from Pizza or Domino's. Or but even Papa John's. And sometimes it would come and it just wouldn't be nice. And I'd be so annoyed. Because I'd waited all week, paid like 40 quid to get two pizzas, waiting for it to come. And it just wasn't nice. It'd either be dry or the order would be wrong mm. sometimes if I ordered it with somebody else. Okay. Thinking, mm. So this is why I started making my own. You're having a pizza joint. We need some kind of pizza place in there. You've yeah. got one more franchise to pick. You're a billionaire, you can have whatever you want. They're going to be in your basement 24-7. You have literally a team of people bringing you whatever you want. You don't even have to eat there for months and it's still going to be there. I've What's got it? a great answer. Huh? It might have to be the Grind Cafe. <laughs> even though it's not a franchise. It's not a franchise, but... It, it might have to be a coffee place with nice eggs for breakfast. Okay, That's what a I'm coffee saying. shop, yeah. With well, nice thinking, bits I don't know about Costa or Starbucks. Which do you prefer out of the... Out the big of, brand? Yeah. Uh, I like Cafe Nero. 
I like Cafe Nero. Yeah, I like their cookies. I like their coffees a bit more. I like that they do a little 40 calorie chocolate. Have you seen that little... Ne- next to when you buy the coffee, you just paint it at the till. There's a little golden, slightly lengthy chocolate. I've not seen that. No. It's like 40 calories. It's got I've chocolate. for a while. Slight nuts in it. Nice. Okay. I like that they play jazz music. It's calm. Yeah. They've got I do plugs. like Cafe Nero. They've got chargers. You need a charger. Yeah. yeah. Out of all the coffees, I prefer Pret. Honestly. Do you know why? Because it's the sweetest and I'm like, maximum oh, sweetness God, always. Do you know in coffee, I'll put three to five sweeteners in one. Depending on size of cup. No exaggeration. I mean, that's, that's what? Small cup, three that's sweeteners, blasphemy. large it's not even coffee. It's coffee anymore, is it? No. At, at one time, they changed the coffee at the Grind Cafe. The The manager, also called Connor, nice guy, came up to me and said, what do you think to the coffee? No, you doubt clue. First thing I said, why is it different? He said, yes, we've changed it. I said, bro, I put four sweeteners in it. I put four sweeteners, half oat milk and half I normal bet milk into it. In a it. place like that, a hipster place, I bet they're devastated to see you do that. I bet do they know, cry when Do you know that. what they're even more devastated at now? Every single person's been appalled that I've stopped drinking coffee completely. I've absolutely 100% cut it out. And every single person, when I've gone to the Grind Cafe for the last month, all the different waiters one by one, even when I go with Dan and we get breakfast and they say, Americanos, and I say, no, I'm okay, thank you. They go, what? <laughs> Literally, they're appalled. They go, what? <laughs> so your franchises are in order. Subway. Yes. These are in no order of importance. Uh, did you see I went for place. health first though? Some kind of pizza place, huh? Uh, did you see I went for health first? I wouldn't consider Subway to be healthy. Would you not? No. Out of all the chain places, I think it's the best. No. I mean, the meat's questionable quality. Any, I mean, so, and I, I, mean, I, I, I was kicking off about I would also have a health anyway. place, but I'd go Waggers. Wagger Mama? Yeah. Ooh. I'm picking rice and, and meat there, brother. Might be noodles. Have you seen the have you seen the calories on the menu? You can't get anything for less than nine hundred. It's not real. You can. No, not I much. personally have done it. Not much. I've done it. Not much. I've done it. I've had. I've, like, I've, you I've get had one the, item and you'll cry. No, no, no. I've had their toasted ed- edamame beans. <laughs> there you go. I got you beans. That's my exact point. That's not real. <laughs> Fuck you. And no, toasted beautiful. edamame beans. They come with salt and chili toasted on them. soya beans. Cho- Fuck off. <laughs> There's <laughs> There's no they got way. salt and chili on them. There's no right. way. My healthy choice: waggers. Ah, okay. And toasted soya beans. I'm going to have a coffee shop at Cafe Nero. Cafe Nero is a good choice, I respect. Okay. It. I love my fried chicken. It's a KFC season. <sighs> is KFC the best fried chicken? Yes. Is it? Yes. Is it? There's no yes. others better. Well, why is there no other chains? I mean, you've got a point. Okay. I mean, you've got a point. I want a bit of fine dining. What do you like from KFC? Normal stuff. Everything. Book it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't. Give me a big. Banquet bucket. I can for eat one. boneless banquet. No. I can eat two boneless no. banquets. I can eat chicken poppers and chicken strips. On the amount the of ketchup I use though, you'll be appalled. What? No. Sometimes, what is it with you? Honestly, sometimes I've used half. You know, you know, a full thing of ketchup. I've used half a bottle to myself with chicken strips. Or That's chicken not even poppers. KFC anymore. I That's like just sugar. I like, I like some chicken with my sauce. Okay. I like. Do you know how you put gravy on a Sunday dinner and you're, you'd absolutely you're, you're gravy a terrible the human shit. Being. That's what I do with tomato sauce. Ignore what you're saying right now because this is terrible. If you saw it, you'd be even more appalled because however much you imagine in your mind, see. it's that's half as much as I'm actually going to use. I have to get low sugar, literally, to counter. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I get Heinz low sugar. I need um. <laughs> I need a bit of fine dining. I'm going to throw a Miller and Carter in there. I've been to Miller and Carter only once. I went to the one at Centre Tim. What do you think? I really liked it. It's good. I didn't. And know- it's a franchise, so I can fit it in. I, yeah, I was going to say I didn't know if it was going to be like a low quality. Do you know what I mean? Some franchises. No, it's good. I, it's I didn't good. know it's, it's how good. it was going to be. It's good. I went there. I really enjoyed it. The steak was extraordinary. Not the best steak place in that world, but a good steak place, and it's a franchise. The best steak I've ever had in my life was Lavaca in Sheffield. I've never been. That was. I need um, to try. No, been. What's the guy's name? He trained at your gym. Is it Shaka? No idea. Is it Shaka? The guy's uh, name. Won't. He trained at your gym for I, years. Yeah, he's not at uh, the minute. He Maybe keeps, not. He drops in and out. Maybe he does, yeah. yeah. Maybe he does. Um, yeah, I went there once with some people and I just remember, I just have this memory, I don't know why, of it just thinking, this is the nicest steak I've ever had in my life. I don't remember what cut it was or what like cooked it was either I don't remember anything and then I'm chucking in my McDonald's because McDonald's because listen to my theory about McDonald's yeah you can go there for breakfast you can and it's good I mean you can you can wait wait, you can but wait no wait we need to stop on this we can't keep going forward because you can but we're starting with problems aren't we well I'm hungover I'm going downstairs to my franchise. Why are you hungover because I like you're a personal trainer and gym manager we're on a weight loss podcast any other normal human being 
uh, I like to I like to get hungover. And when I go down, when I'm a billionaire, I'm going down to my little food hall and I've got all my franchises. I don't want to stay. You're Donald Trump. That's what I'm realizing. I, I he, ate Mac- <laughs> he had McDonald's, didn't he? He's a billionaire that thinks, what can I have in the world? I want McD's. I know he does eat a lot of uh, uh, burgers, doesn't he? Eats McDonald's apparently. I've heard this in the. Yeah, I've heard he ordered McDonald's to the to the White House. Do they? As what like a meal, ledge. loads of it. You don't ledge for a thing, but ledge for that. Um, <laughs> so I'm going down there. Yeah, I, Cafe Nur is when I want to chill and read a book, yeah, and I want to listen nice to jazz, jazz music and have yeah. a coffee and whatnot. I don't want to steak at that time in the morning. No, no, I don't. Yeah, want I could actually. Huh? I could eat steak for breakfast. I mean, I could, but I'm not a hungover. I want salty. How often are you hungover? Fatty is this a, is this... It's not that often, but I'm a but billionaire. A billionaire. Uh, I'm a billionaire. I can be extravagant. I can do what I want. All right. That's the whole point of this right. question, yeah? Yeah, we'd be drinking wine. I don't wine want healthy. Daily. I don't want waggers. We'd have to do so much cardio. Yeah, I'd, oh, God. There'd be so much wine getting drunk. We'd I have to think do so much if, cardio. If I actually became a billionaire, I think I would book myself into every free month, you know, that laser liposuction you can get. Ah, uh, that doesn't work. It does. No. No, 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 no. No. I'll, I'll tell you the story in a second. It definitely does. No. I know it does. Because I know it does. No. It does not the cheap stuff, the real no. expensive stuff. <laughs> but it's so expensive. Ladies and gentlemen, really stop it. listening to this podcast. We can't listen to this advice. Come yeah, on, it doesn't yeah. work. But it does. Defi- no. Um, well, okay. what, what, what are my other franchises? It's not important anymore. Oh, KFC. I don't want KFC at the time in the morning. So I want a... Bacon and egg McMuffin with five hash browns. I like the sausage and, and egg McMuffin. one of the, or maybe even, even the yeah. sausage and pancakes. That is nice. The pancakes are Beautiful. actually nice. So there you go. Ah, right, you see, I'm turning you around to the No, now, I like I? it, but I'm yeah. just, look, I'm a new If I want to go there at lunchtime, if I want to go there at lunchtime, I can have the salad. You can, but are you going to? And a fruit bag? You can. And when I go in the evening, I can have a burger and I can have a muffin. I can eat every meal <laughs> at that. <laughs> You're on supersize me. Your <laughs> cholesterol. We in need to get more blood tests. In terms one, of, one in terms of blood, blood tests. In terms of bang for your buck, the you McDonald's die. is the all round franchise. You die. It's I not die. Like you die. But the laser eye for does work. <laughs> You'd have every vitamin and mineral deficiency. You need to take every vitamin and mineral. I like would, me, but if, if, if I was a billionaire, I would have such a wine stock. No. I'd have so many franchises. No. You'd need to supplement fiber so bad. And I'd probably own my own chocolate plantation. There'd be no vegetables. I love vegetables. No, but you're, you're eating a McDonald's for every meal. I'd have a farm, but said. I could. I'm just saying I could. I'm an extravagant, <laughs> eccentric billionaire who no. has a McDonald's that I'm probably going to use six times a year because I'm only really hung over six times a year. Okay. Like really being over. Okay, we're like getting more into birthday, the story now. Christmas party. It's making more sense. Yeah. yeah. But I'm so extravagant, I can literally employ an entire team of McDonald's people to sit there all day and do nothing in my McDonald's, in my basement, right next to my super amazing gym. Uh, ironically, we're next to my Miller and Carter, which I'll probably eat the Miller and Carter at least once a week, I'd have thought. I'll go to the Cafe I would get Neuro. I'd pro- probably every go day to the Cafe Post Neuro. Post-workout. Probably Cafe Neuro at least four or five times a week. All the others are getting high frequencies. KFC You drink is- coffee every day. Huh? You drink coffee every day? Yeah. Yeah, so you'd go there every day. Probably every good day, yeah. Yeah. I'd well, eat, I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd have multiple coffee day. machines around the house, which I could just hit and have a coffee wherever I want. I'd have a coffee machine in the toilet. If I- I'd need them to do healthy chips and vegetables to me at Miller and Carter. I'd need them to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, then I could eat a big steak every day post workout. Yeah. I had the bone marrow there as well. That was really good. Wow. I've never eaten it. It was really that. tasty. I've never had bone marrow before in my life, but it was very tasty. Wow. I don't know what they even do, wow. but it was very nice. Um, so, yeah, that's my rationale behind the McDonald's. And the menu's forever changing. You've seen the, the specials they do, the Texas burger. It's the just a different sauce. Mexican same burger. Thing. I don't care. They're innovative. <laughs> it is what makes it. The well, okay, okay wait, wait. I've got to give a shout out to some alternative items you can get. The McFlurry is, is absolutely amazing. Brilliant. And you can have it with amazing, everything. Amazing. Oreo McFlurry. The, the soft whippy ice yeah, cream. Yeah. They don't put enough bits in it. Let's be real. Let's. Can you pay for more bits? I'm pretty sure you can sweet talk the person because you're I'll, the billionaire. You own the place. What if I want... I'll pay for two McFlurries, but I don't want the extra ice cream. Double bits. Whatever's in it, I want all the... Yeah, sure. You can ask what you want. Yeah. You could get that. You could get the McFlurry on top of your pancakes. Oh, I remember what I did once. That's what you could do. That'd be amazing. It'd be brilliant. Why have we not done that before? That would be amazing. Why do you know what's dirty? Happen? I don't mind the pancakes with the ice cream on as much. I understand dessert, even from McDonald's. If you get the pancakes with the sausage on, I've ordered it before, but you've got to admit it's dirty. <laughs> you just can't. But it's beautiful. Pancakes, it's nice. And then you cover it in syrup. I've, I've done it. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. But, oh, oh you just you can't. You also I'm hungry. can't. Stop. You also can't. I'm hungry. Shall we start off the podcast and go eat? Because I'm starving. <laughs> I haven't eaten I'm now really hungry. That's, we haven't even started the podcast yet, and I'm hungry. That's a, we haven't even we haven't talked about any of the news. I don't think we should. I think we no, should we can't because we've been on one hour fifty minutes. There you go. What have we? Even, 
It's, no. it's been one hour 48 what minutes. What time is it? Um, 2.40. Oh, my God. It's been one hour 50 minutes. at 2 o'clock today? <laughs> but we did start late. Because I, I spent ages getting all the news articles uh, and we've looked at uh, none uh, of them. On, on the billionaire point, it's never going to happen. Could have. And could also, if I happen. was the billionaire, I would have a farm at the side of my house where I would have happy cows, yeah. happy chickens, happy lambs, yeah. living really good lives before yeah. they were slaughtered in an ethical way. I would have all my vegetables there. I would, it'd be brilliant. Yeah. It'd be amazing. I'd just go tend to my allotment every day and I'd have a great time. Oh, so I'm going to become a billionaire. You might become an evil billionaire. Huh? You might become an evil billionaire. An e millionaire. E evil billionaire. What does that mean? I just mean turn to evil. You might become an evil billionaire. Evil. Yeah. No, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be a nice billionaire. Would you? I would assign it to Elon Musk's thing where I'd be giving away most of my wealth. You did say that, but then how would you afford everything? You wouldn't be a billionaire. You'd be poor One billion again. could afford you all that. One billion. One billion is a lot of money. I think that's what people don't appreciate. One billion is a lot. Is of it a money. thousand million? Uh, it is. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a million million. That's not real. No. But it's a lot of money. It's a thousand million. So it's a thousand, 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 thousand. You could probably buy a really nice house for 250 million. You don't even spend You could buy the biggest yet. house in the world for 250 no, million. Couldn't. It'd be a, well, not the biggest in the world, but it'd be the, it'd be. But a, it'd be, imagine it, what 250 million get you in No, way too, no, way too You big. couldn't even spend it. There'd be no point. Yeah. There'd be no point. You couldn't get it, yeah. But I'm going to have a farm. I've got a spare room in my apartment. I'm going to have a farm I'm going to have a paintball in place. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a quad racing track. I'd come heaven. to yours all the time. Be <laughs> Mate, I, I would never need to leave a one mile perimeter of my house because I'd be so happy. You'd be so happy. <laughs> I'd have everything. I'd have my indoor Just cinema because I love the cinema. The cinema is one of my favourite things. Is it? You like yeah, films? I've, I've gone three, four times this month already. What have we seen? At the uh, I've seen the new Venom. Good or not good? I personally am not a Marvel <laughs> fan. I know shock horror. Not, is I, it a shock horror? Don't lamb. Everyone loves Marvel. I don't. I don't like Marvel really. But for me, it's the best Marvel because it's a bit dark. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit violent. I've heard mixed dark. reviews, to be honest. I think it's really good. Okay, that's fair. Um, I have been to see... I'm going to go see tomorrow night a new movie coming out called Dune. Oh, yeah. So D-U-N-E. I just watched the trailer for this today. Um, I've it looks seen, like Star Wars, but different. It's apparently what Star Wars ripped off. I don't know. True. Uh, it's a really old book. Um, got tried to make it into a movie once before, never worked. But it looks incredible. It looks epic, in fact. They're going for a big epic film. I'm very Lots excited. Lots of famous actors I saw on the trailer. Yep, yep. I saw loads, loads of famous people. Oscar Isaac, loads of big people. Timothy Chalon, I believe he's pronounced. Um, I've already been to see the new Bond. Was it good? Well, I've heard I say, good things. Best Bond ever. I've heard nothing else different, really. Brilliant Bond. For me, the way they've done it, the ending, I felt like clapping. Brilliant. <laughs> Genuinely brilliant. Yeah, I've heard I've heard similar things from and people. And there's another movie that's just come out that's not getting a lot of publicity that I really want to go see. It's by a really good director, Ridley Scott, uh, called The Last Duel. Ridley Scott, yeah. the Alien films. Alien dude, yeah. Yeah. He, Alien and Titanic, actually. Yeah. Not that people realise he did Titanic as well. I don't think I knew that. Yeah. I've seen Titanic. Um, oh, sorry. No, no, was that Ridley Scott? Yeah, it was Ridley Scott. It was He did Aliens, did Ridley Scott, uh, which was the second Alien, and then he did Titanic. Did he do Prometheus? No. Oh. Fulton Proof was terrible anyway. Is that a different but thing? The Last Duel. Yeah, that was looked okay. Have you heard, seen anything about The Last Duel? The Last? The Last Duel, as in people Duel. dueling, fighting. No. No. So uh, the story is it's set in, I'm going to say 17th century France, and it's about two famous knights, and one knight uh, wife accuses another knight of raping her. So her husband challenges this other knight to a duel. With what? Uh, so with what? Swords with swords. Or, swords or guns? What else are they going to do? I don't know. Swords. That's what they had. Didn't they? Okay, guns, I don't know. Swords. Did they, I don't know when Flintlock pistol no, 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 no. We're not talking later down the line. We're talking like sword time. The knights. I love swords. So they're going to sword fight to the death. Okay. And if he loses... This film could either be amazing or terrible. If, if, if he loses the guy whose wife has been sexually assaulted, his wife will then be punished as being an adulterer. Because that's how fucked up it was back then. Right. Because they can't take his word, they can't take his wife's word for it. Because against the knight, he's like a knight of the realm. Okay. You can't accuse a knight without proof, and the proof is he, his husband has to win the duel. Is this real or no real? This is actually a true story as well, mate. It looks brilliant. It looks a little bit. It's a very it could be high, amazing. But the sword fight, it all goes down to that choreography. What? It, I think it's going to be if it's a, legit. It could be legit. I think it's going to be a realistic sword fight as well. It's not going to be like people doing backflips in. Both ways like. can be cool. Yeah. I don't know. Both ways. Can I be think cool. it's going to be legit. It looks everything about it looks authentic, and it's also it's, it's about quite a hard subject as well. So mm. I think you, I think you're going to feel quite like you're going to be feeling quite emotional. I might watch it. It. Yeah. it sounds good. It sounds like I think it's it looks me. really good. I love swords. You know. I, I mean, I love sword fights. Do you? I love. 
I love movies that are a bit gritty as well, and that looks a bit okay. gritty. That's why I don't like Marvel so much, because it's not very gritty. It's all like mm. people flying around, saving the world from mm. other people that fly. Mm. That's lame. Recently, I went to the Royal Armouries in Leeds to look at all the stars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm from Leeds, so obviously I know the Royal Armouries really well. Yeah. Been there loads as a kid. Yeah. I went to this... Been to a few functions there, actually, as well. Yes, I have, actually. Yeah, I have. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. I went to watch this Viking exhibition. There was a sword fighting exhibition. It was terrible. But that was amazing. Have no, you seen the jazz thing? It was terrible. Thing? Was it? It was the worst thing I've ever seen. Why? I walked off after 30 seconds. What were they doing? Demonstrating sword fighting techniques from ancient times. Oh, so they weren't just fighting? No. Oh. It was two guys yeah. like, showing, this is a technique. This is a technique. I don't know really anything about sword fighting, but I would consider history one of my hobbies. But realistic sword fighting is not as fun as Hollywood sword fighting. They were Hollywood sword fighting. And I knew, I knew instantly within thirty seconds the techniques they were showing were absolute bullshit. Really? Yeah. Oh. He, he was like, "I swing like this," and the other guy was like, "I would defend like this," and then this would happen. And I'm like, "What? This is okay. this is like some ting 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 bullshit." I was like, "This is not." Did real. one of them come doing like backflips out like Darth Maul? Now that would have been entertaining. It just it wasn't cool to be honest. I was disappointed, okay. but I do love swords Mo- mostly because I can't believe they're real. Really? Why? Because the thought, it seems like it's only for the Lord of the Rings. But then you can go there and like, people used to have like actual swords and they'd go around and they might stab each other and it just seems wild. It was. I know, it's crazy. It was bonkers. I know, that's why I don't believe it. All these swords, I mean, I believe it because it's real, it's archaeological evidence and stuff, but I just think, really? It seems like it's just not I mean, real. what about the idea that one guy has to prove his, his, his wife was telling the true story by fighting the other guy I don't with the believe sword. this story That's bizarre. I don't know this. No, it's nothing. true. Are they wearing armour or not? They're wearing armour. What? Plate armor or chain uh, I don't know. I've not seen the movie yet. Have you seen the trailer? Yeah, well, they're, they're, like, they're, are they they're, wearing like obviously big... they're busting around in like plate armor and stuff, but are they? Yeah, depends if it's realistic or not. I think it looks really good. It's but it's done by Ridley Scott, it will be done well. Ridley Scott is a great director, it'll be a good movie. I believe he's a good director, and it's got very good actors in it. It's Has got it? Adam Driver, Matt Damon. Uh, ben Affleck. Adam Driver being who? He, uh, Adam Driver the new was Star Wars. the new Star Wars. He was Kylo I, Ren. I know exactly who it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's a good actor. He's a very good actor. Yeah. And then who? Uh, ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. You said Matt Damon as well. And Matt Damon. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, big actor. Got some then. legit people in it, mate. All right then. Looks and it's got All some. All right it, then. It's the woman. It's apparently famous, but I don't recognise her. Hmm. She's from Killing Eve. Hmm. I don't know, but it looks good. I love the cinema. Great experience. Hmm. Cinema is one of the best day out nights out you can ever have. I need to now get a beer in the cinema. Yeah. Again, nutritionist, I love a good bear in the cinema. Nah, I respect it. Yeah. I respect it. I'm not a big film person. I only, not. No. No. Love films. I've watched a lot of films, I would say, over I've my life, films. but not as many as you, no way. I can tell them immediately. Do you ever see those like little quizzes when it says, how many of these films have you watched? I normally score really highly on them. Really? When it's like really obscure films as well. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember watching that. Watch okay, that. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm no. not one of those people. I love them. If you go on IMDb top 250 films, I've watched probably like 150 of them. That's quite a lot. That's more than most. Yeah, because... That's over, actually a lot more than most. Because what, what I do over time is if I get bored or I think, oh, maybe I should watch a film, I go on the list of top films and oh, see what you? people think. Yeah, I see what people think are best in the world. What's your favourite film? <sighs> okay, give me give me your three go-to films that you think are brilliant but in different ways. Mm, it's very difficult because I'm not... Again, I'm not a massive film person, so I don't often watch films more than once. Mm. But I could answer your question maybe in a different way. What two, films have stuck with you that you thought that was yeah, amazing? Yeah, two directors where I like most of their films. Um, one is... Why do I forget the name? Who's the guy that did Pulp Fiction? Tarantino. Tarantino. I like most Tarantino films. Do Not you? all of them, but most of them. Okay. I like Pulp Fiction. I thought Hateful Eight was okay. I definitely like Django. Um, I think Kill, Kill Bill 1 was okay. I've not seen Kill Bill, the second one. Mm. Uh, what other films has he done? Uh, I liked Holy, the Hollywood one. I thought that was good. Uh, Once Upon a Time Hollywood was a good film. Yeah, I thought that was good. Uh, what else? I've not seen good? Reservoir Dogs ever. Have you not? No, I don't think so. That's no. one of the better ones. Yeah, it is. It's just one I've never got around to I'll watching. I'll be honest with you. Uh, he did, did he do The Hateful Eight? Yeah, I didn't mind Hateful Eight. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I think he's overrated. Okay. Because a lot of his films, I, I don't... There's some of them I'm really like. I did like Pulp Fiction. Okay, maybe he's not overrated. <laughs> Reservoir, but he didn't direct Reservoir Dogs. That's not one of his films. Is it not? He's just the like um, executive. He's like the producer of it, but it's not one of his films. Okay. He did a movie called Jackie Brown. You've probably never seen that. That's really not very famous. That no. One. Not very no, good. No, I've not seen this. Pulp Fiction, bit of a classic. 
Uh, Inglorious Bastards. Yes, I like that. I'm neither here nor there on that one. I mean, his films are a bit hard to watch and they're a bit dark and people get shot in the head and beat to death. Hateful Eight. Inglorious like. Bastards is really good. Kill Bill. It's Brad Pitt didn't going, like. oh, I want my scouts. Didn't like, uh, uh, what was the one with the, that was split into two movies, the one with the car and the eight of the zombies? Don't know. Yeah, yeah. He did, he did that. Yeah, it was called, I can't it was called, he did Planet Terror and something else. Didn't I'm like. such a casual film watcher. I like, yeah, I can tell I like you the don't most, really I like the most no. famous ones. Okay. My other favourite director is Guy Ritchie. Ah, oh, you've got a very similar theme then. Yes. Very, I like most similar. Guy Ritchie films. Um, I really liked his new one, The Gentleman. Gentleman was good. Very good. I really liked it. I've watched it twice. I thought it was great both very, times. Very, good film. A bit silly in some ways, but I like I like the way it cuts and I like yeah. the, the cool accents and the storylines and there's guns and stuff. What about, he did obviously Snatch. <laughs> yep, yeah, I like Snatch. Uh, I like Lockstock. Lockstock. Yep. Yeah. I he like, basically does the same film. Uh, yeah, I like King again. Arthur. Which King is Arthur's bit... terrible. No, it's good. Oh my God. <laughs> I liked it. It's so bad. I, it's all the same film. It's even the same actor sometimes. It's even the same actor. <laughs> They're identical it's films. It's terrible. It cuts. But how did he take, South, how did you take like, gangsters from yes. London and make them into knights and still make the same film? I like swords and I like the cutscenes and gangster accents. It's for me. Terrible. No, it's great. Terrible. Ah, it's great. Ridiculous. And he went, when he was on Joe Rogan podcast, I was very impressed. I thought he was he sound just intellectual, ridiculous, eloquent, super smart okay. guy. I what thought. else you got? What else you got? Talk to me about some real films, some real good films. They're all my favourite films. No. I like them. Um, I don't know. Two movies that stuck with me for on, my entire life. When I watched, I thought that was amazing. And I couldn't stop watching. Have you ever seen the Shawshank Redemption? Yes. Good what film. do you think? Yeah, one of the best films ever. Um, I. Because I, I didn't know anything about it when I watched it, I just turned it on one day. And I was like, "What is this?" And I just couldn't take my eyes off it. Brilliant. I, I watched it already knowing that it's basically rated number one best film in the world on IMDb because that's I didn't know that. films like I told you. I so I <coughs> didn't know what to expect, but obviously I had high expectations. And I watched it, and I wasn't like going, "Whoa, that was the best thing ever!" But at the end of it, when it finished, I thought, <laughs> I guess I thought, "Fucking hell!" And I thought, "There's no way I, I can't, can't think of any way I could have made it better." Hmm. I think it was. I think for, for me, for, for the storyline that it was, it was about as perfect as it could be in my never opinion. Never not knowing anything about it, turning it on. By the end of it, the uh, Andy, what's he called? The name of the character? Dufresne. Andy, or? Dufresne. Dufresne. Andy Dufresne. I genuinely wanted to see Andy Dufresne get out. Okay. Um, and I, I felt so invested in him. Yeah. Okay. That is amazing. I was like, when okay. he finally does it, you are literally like, I was like, okay. I was like, oh, brilliant. I, was, okay. I felt, again felt like clapping. Okay. Brilliant. Uh, another really good film I like for a different reason uh, and this is again really highly rated uh, a movie called Heat no I've never seen never this never heard of it no I don't think I've ever so, heard of seen this uh, Robert De Niro okay Robert De Niro Robert De Niro of course it is uh, <laughs> oh my god and what's the other famous uh, dude in it uh, Robert De Niro Al Pacino yeah first time they ever appeared in a movie together so Robert De Niro is bank robber very very good Al Pacino is the guy that catches Bank robbers. He's the best in the business. Obviously, De Niro's robbing banks. Pacino's trying to stop him. Brilliant. Watch it. Genuinely watch it. It's gritty. It's dark. What year is it from? Uh, what time is Early 90s. Early 90s, all right. Early 90s. Yeah, makes um, sense. Bit of, a, bit of a nerd out pop quiz for you. It's got, have you ever heard of a guy called Andy McNabb? Don't think so. Andy McNabb is a famous SS soldier who's written a lot of books. So he's like a real soldier. And he was the technical director in it for the the gun scenes, the the gun shootout Ooh, scenes. Okay, so it's so legit, he, is he, it? he he literally like trained the actors on what to do and how to act. And there's a very famous fight shootout scene in it. You'll sit there, and by the end of it, you'll be like, "That was amazing." Yeah. And he actually ends up having a <laughs> he, he ends up having he ends up having a cameo of one of the cops <laughs> trying to stop the bank robbers, and he dies. He actually has a cameo in it. Does uh, Andy McNabb? I like Brilliant that. film. Watch it. I like Honestly, that. I won't say anything more about what the movie's about watch it and again right. by the end of it you are so invested in the characters yeah and when the ending happens you're like wow that was good who's the director of this movie uh who directs it very famous director again i'll google it one of the most famous uh please what it's gonna annoy me when you tell me what should i put in heat heat film. just h-e-h-e-a-t heat okay. uh it's rated 8.2 on imdb this is one i must have seen on the list but not watched must it. have must have, must have not clicked it. Director Michael Mann. I'm That's sure. the one, Michael Mann. I, Al Pacino, Val Kilmer, Robert De Niro. All right, then. You're having a bit of that, aren't you? Natalie they? Portman, loads of famous people. Other Natalie fam- Portman before she was famous. Really? Yeah. All right. So, Michael Mann, he normally does films that have got 
a very kind of dark undertone to them. Mm-hmm. And you do very good films. Watch mm-hmm. it. Brilliant film. All right, I've got another for you then. This is polarising to some people. I really like Lord of the Rings. Okay, good do films. You, do you? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. What's that to like about them? I like all of it. Brilliant. I, I like the swords. I like Brilliant. the storyline. I like... Everything about it. All of it. <laughs> You're good, what's wrong with it? <laughs> Tell me what's wrong with a film series that the Lord Nothing. of the Rings... Nothing. Even to this day when you watch it, because it's on the on the normal three, the CGI, because they didn't use much CGI, they did mostly masks, it still holds up. It still doesn't look awful, in my opinion. No, but when brilliant. Watch, maybe if you watch it on a super I don't even consider it TV. to be that old. It's and at least the, the kind of terrifying old. is it is actually really old because I remember watching the it's second be one old. in the cinema with my brother. I think it's at least 20, 20. years old. It's got to be 20 years yeah. old. Let's look at it. Fellowship of the... It knows what I want. Of course it does. 2001. Epic yeah. adventure film based on the 1954 novel. Brilliant. I've, I've read the Hobbit book and listened to the Fellowship book. And everybody told me, oh, if you listen to the Fellowship book, it goes on for ages and it's really boring. I liked it. I thought it was nice. I tried to read the, the Fellowship book when I was younger and I couldn't do it because it was too long. I couldn't do it when I was younger. The Hobbit, you can do very easy. It's, it's for kids though. Yeah. And I was young when I tried to read well, it. Well, he wrote it for his kids. Yeah. And uh, do you know Amazon had, have bought the rights to Lord of the Rings? They're making a series, they're, aren't they're they? Do, they're doing the prequels because he also wrote a series of books called The Sil- Similarian, yeah. which are about the, yeah. the, the setting before all that. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. Very I've exciting. got a Tolkien encyclopedia down there on that have bookshelf. Yeah. Can't wait. Did you cool. know he was, um, what was he? He was like a professor of language, wasn't he? Yeah, and, he and all the language full in the language, book yeah. are real. He actually wrote the languages in the book. Yeah. yeah. Took forever, didn't Can't it? Can't wait. Okay, movie that I'm going to throw out there, left field. Go on then. If you just want a movie that is action, ridiculous, doesn't require much brain power to watch, and is a great film, Pacific Rim. Not Have you seen it? Sh- not sure. So. <clears throat> not sure. I'm going to look at the front of it. Um, Go and tell me. It's a movie about what things that are known as kaiju. So kaiju is a great big massive lizard type creatures, like Godzilla. <laughs> I don't think I've ever God- seen Godzilla. Godzilla is co- Godzilla is considered to be a kaiju. So it comes from Japanese like This is robots fighting giant monsters. Yes. What? Yes. What? Honestly. Is this legit? It's great. This I'm not sure. Not well, good, good about- storyline, not good good acting, but <laughs> the action scenes in it oh and if God. you just want to see giant Lizard type creatures fight giant mechanoid things. I guess things sometimes you do. Over Tokyo. Yeah. And smash the fuck out of everything, <laughs> including each other. No better film. Sometimes you do. What about Pacific Rim Uprising from 2018? Huh? There's a new one. There's a second one. Pacific. That one's not very good. Was it not good? No. Okay. No. Don't know why they just didn't have okay. the magic to the lizards fighting the robots again. Just didn't work. Okay. Great film. Watch those two films. Heat. Heat. And then watch Pacific Rim. You realise what I mean by two polarising films. Like, he is dark, it's realistic, it's gritty. Pacific Rim is absolutely ridiculous, but brilliant in its own sense. An underrated film. I believe What's you. that on uh, IMDb, by the way? Pacific Rim. So, yeah, it's a good question. Uh, yeah. It's a good... I bet it's... Take a, take a guess. I'm going to go 6.9. I've never seen it, so I don't judge. I feel mean if I judge. Pacific But it's brilliant. Rim. Film. It is 6.9. What did you say? 6.9. Did you? Yeah, I did. Ah! I didn't even know, but I've I guess. i what you said. <laughs> 6.9. Amazing. All right, then. So it must be decent. It is. Seven's good. not bad. It's good. You can't say no because it's an action film about lizards fighting giant mechanoids robots, the fact that it can carry that kind of weight when the actual story is stupid. That's true. Tells you how great it is. All right, fine. I believe you. Great film. I believe you. One of the best films ever. Oh, my God. I said it here. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my god this has been news of the week ladies and gentlemen <laughs> <laughs> we will do news of the week properly I think we should finish the show what do you think huh? I think we should finish the show what do you should think should you what I say I think we should finish the show yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I, mean, I, need, I, need, I need some food I need to go to the toilet I think we're done it's been two hours two seven hours. minutes do you have any shout outs for anything um, anything at all I don't know in the world eat well enjoy your alcohol oh that's nice and keep moving oh yes <laughs> um, if you want help with your fat loss fitness or food go to slumsociety.co.uk thank you for listening we'll speak to you soon again soon